day today. Um, so we've got rugby union women's ones, yeah. rugby union men's ones, and we've got the football, football men's twos coming up. We've had some ultimate frisbee already today. Yeah, so actually the women's ultimate frisbee just happened and Union has won and the score was 8-2, but unfortunately the score's not gonna go on to the official. No, score. so that doesn't count for varsity, but that brings us to the current varsity score, which is 4.5 to Uni of and 3.5 to Team Hallam. Um, yeah. So Uniov have just got it at the moment, um, but there's not much in it. So today could really make quite a difference with all the action that we've got going on, really. Yeah, I think this year's varsity is going to be a really interesting one because look at it, we're really, Uniov and Team Harlem are really, really close. So it's just a matter of time, Team Harlem's going to catch up. Um, but it seems like actually they're about to start. So I think yeah. we should head over to the R Women's Rugby Union Wands yeah. um, to let's see how it goes. Yeah. Let's just have a stat check. <laughs> okay. Uh, Hallam won 10 games this season and lost two, while Unioff won four games and lost nine. And they have just been relegated while Hallam is chasing promotion in the Books League. So let's see how the game goes. Okay, yeah. and with that, let's head over to the match. Thank you very much, Jimena. Welcome to a beautifully sunny Sheffield Hallam Sports Park to get our coverage of Hallam Sports Park Day underway. I'm Matthew Rennie, joined by Jemima Urusu, my trusted co-commentator, <laughs> and we'll quickly run through the starting team. The first 15 then for Sheffield Hallam. The forwards are Bronwyn Hall, Hannah Courtney and Steph Wilden as the game that's underway. Elspeth Ward and Robin Tennant in the second row. The back row of Zoe Politis, Steph Barn, Charlotte Hancock, Ellis Clark as the backs. The fly off is a Lucy Kilheny. Tamden Island Shaluto is number 12. Robin McClannan, the captain, is 13. 11 on the left of one side is Tabby Groves. Right wing to Sean Judd, and the fullback is Charlotte Mutlow. They are underway here, and a good start for Sheffield Hallam, it looks to be, Jemima. Yeah, Hallam have got the ball. Oh, got Robin Tennant going down the side. Straight to ground. Nice quick gain of ground there. Trying to penetrate this left hand side just while they're not really near oh, the Oh, yes, side. come on, that's Tamsin. Tamsin, Tamsin, Island Shiloto through there, but very well defended by the University of Sheffield as they make another tackle there on Hannah Courtney, the hooker. But as the University of Sheffield try and hold that defensive line and the uh, uh, incomplete pass there goes back to the University of Sheffield. Just while they're not really near in the trial, Jemima, how much does it mean to play in a game like this and to get a victory in it as you've experienced? Yeah, this is a big deal. Like some of the girls have trained all the way through to this point and uh, to be able to get a win on the home ground or a win um, for the varsity is such a big deal. Just because you're representing the whole university, you know? Indeed. Sheffield, university of Sheffield back with the ball then just slightly in their own half at this stage looking to get up into Hallam territory a good tackle there but couldn't down it there now it now they do and it's back on towards University of, she University of Sheffield for the ruck over the penalty's been given I think there to University of Sheffield just like we might have a, a little bit of an injury there number seven for Sheffield Hallam uh, Steph Tharn is down at this stage hopefully She'll be okay, but it's a bit of a, a cagey start to, uh, to the opening and affairs. Uh, Sheffield Hallam will be quite pleased with actually getting into the territory of University of Sheffield by this stage. Just waiting on uh, news of an injury there. Look, a little bit concerning, would you say, Jemima? Yeah, no, she'll be, I'm sure she'll be fine. I have been running through the whole time. It does. I just need a second, a couple of seconds to get myself back in the game. It does indeed. Just a chance for both teams to regroup and while they do that we'll just run through the she University of Sheffield 15. The forwards are Charlotte Johnston, Taylor Coates and Megan Hugers. Second row of Maeve, Maeve Mottlesley and Lydia Corrin. Jen Salim, Bridget Jones, Crabtree and Harriet Berniston form the uh, form the, form part of the second row as the flankers are open side and blind side at number eight. The backs are Megan Whitaker at scrum half, Captain Emily, Emily Bentley at fly half, Lucy Davies is in inside centre at number 12. Freya Endwistle outside centre. Hannah Probert and Kate Streetsfield and Tori Wensley complete the back line. As they have a scrum here for the University of Sheffield and potentially a chance to drive up into Hallam territory here. That's right. It's a good scrum so Very far. Nice formation. No, no, collapse, no collapsing in that scrum there, Jemai, which we, we've seen before in a... A vast amount of uh, rugby games. Yeah, lots of collapsing, not this time. Outside, good Ooh, kick nice up into kick territory. There from the of a difficult bounce for 
for Charlotte Mucklow to deal with. And here's a chance for the University of Sheffield to really make some ground. Mucklow's being chased there by Captain Emily Bentley, looking to try and put that tackle on the far side. Good run, though, from Mucklow on the far side. It goes out into touch. Uh, it's going to be difficult. It looks a bit of a difficult surface to play on here, Jemima. And those kicks through are going to be incredibly crucial today. Yeah, definitely. It's quite a hard ground that we've got on here today, which means we'll kind of go in any direction. So uh, we'll see how those kicks will be doing. Definitely looks notoriously deal difficult to deal with Charlotte Mucklow there, looking at the uh, odd bounce, which goes higher than anyone would expect it to. There's a line out there on the far side for the University of Sheffield. Good throw. Really good oh. throw, but just drops at the crucial time there by Taylor Coates. Very good, very good oh. steal there by number 12 for Sheffield Hallam, Tamsin Island Shalito, and he hopefully can get Hallam back on the attack. Oh, Looks to be a knock on that. there, <laughs> and it's back for the University of Sheffield. Just like tripped by the referee there <laughs> as well. Still nil nil then, only about four minutes gone on the clock at this stage. It's another scrum to the University of Sheffield. They're coming back in, coming back into Hallam territory there, so they must be feeling good about that. Hopefully they can get a nice good scrum here and make some ground. Sheffield Hallam scrum, in fact, I think it is. is it Hallam? Oh, it's a, it's a Hallam, scrum. A Hallam so scrum. We all thought it was a knock on from, <laughs> from, where, from where our vantage point is, but goes put in the scrum then by Whitaker. Okay. It looks to be nice scrum again. a really good scrum. Hallam Comes got out the ball to Whitaker. Out. Back Tams on his in. near side, there's time, to, good start for Chiloto to drive there. Good tackle though by the University of Sheffield, sturdy defence. Hit back. Nice kick by Collini. Back to Collini, very good kick up the field. Now here's where the bounce is going to play dividends here, but done really, really well dealt with. And a chance for the University of Sheffield to run at the Hallam defence. She's still going good tackle though, about 15 metres inside Sheffield University's half. Oh, ball lost. Defence there, but it looks like it's going to be an advantage Ooh. at this stage to Sheffield Hallam University back then for a penalty after the ball was lost. Now, Jeremiah, this could be a really good chance here. We've already seen there's quite a few gaps opening yep. on the pitch, and if one team penetrates one of the gaps, then could it open the floodgates, basically? Pretty much. Just need a little bit of speed to get through a gap, and they've got it. So, I was subscribed, so no problem. As long as they can keep the ball uh, and pass it down the line looks like it's going to be a backs backs they're going to be receiving the ball at this point out of the scrum so another scrum for the university of uh, sheffield hallam university there but uh, the referee just halts the proceedings for one minute to make sure there's no foul play in the scrum indeed looks like it is going to go to the backs it looks like emily bear uh, not emily bentley she's the university of uh, <laughs> sheffield lucy kilheny here the fly yeah. half looks like she's going to collect it and have a amazing run at the university of Sheffield's defence and test out their metal at a, an oh, early ball stage. Come out the side. Like come out the wrong side there. Very well dealt with by the University of Sheffield. Ooh. They get the ruck over. Turning into a bit of a maul there. They've been and able to get to the, steal ball. the Great. ball. there. Very good steal there from the University of Sheffield. But brought down and Elspeth Ward brought down very good, very well bring down there as they look for the kick up the field nice by kick. Bentley. Here's the chance to Try test Mark again. Close. Mucklow's ability to catch the ball there and again she's fumbled it as twice in the game now as the ball comes back and a penalty yep, for the University on. of Sheffield for a knock-on Mucklow looks to have struggled twice already would that be a concern for you it happens sometimes when the game means so much to you sometimes it can get into your head I'm sure she'll get her head back on and you know as it's a bit difficult being a fullback because you're on your own pretty much all the time but I'm sure someone will have a chat with her and she'll be fine looks like a difficult part of the pitch as well. Def looks very, very much sand-based just there rather than an even layer of grass at this stage. But a scrum then to the University of Sheffield, about 50 metres inside at Sheffield Hallam's territory. Look to drive themselves nice forward. Nice scrum. Really good scrum there. Comes out oh. to the scrum half. Advantage though to the University of Sheffield. Here's Bentley, the captain. Passes it out to the left-hand oh, side. Slightly. A sloppy pass there and now a chance for Sheffield Hallam to capitalise on that. But well dealt with in the end by the University of Sheffield and Katie Streetsfield. She done, did really well there. Now, out on this left-hand side, chance to run down the Ooh. line for, for Tory Wensley. Good handoff there, though, and a good tackle as well from Sheffield Hallam are holding their line, really disciplined at this stage. Out to Mottersley, and another fantastic Ooh. challenge there to be brought out then by Megan Another Hughes. kick. A kick now, can they test the metal? of Megan Mutlow to Sheffield University of Sheffield players going for it 
and it's a try. Yeah, it's a, try to, a fantastic to try. Hannah Probert bombing down the left-hand side there, taking advantage of seemingly Hallam's weakness at the early stages. And the University of Sheffield edged the first part of the encounters. A fantastic kick over the top to Hannah Probert, who showed her burst of speed to get on the end of that and give the first blood to Sheffield University. 5-0 at this stage. Can she make the conversion from a really difficult position? You never know. You never know. Interesting indeed. Very good try though. And it, what do you get him? We, we pointed out the weaknesses of, and how difficult the balance is. They've really used that to advantage really there, Really well, actually. Sheffield. Really well. Nice, accurate kicks from the university there. Got into the direction that needed and break through the line in there. Nice, nice try there. Should Sheffield Hallam be taking maybe some notes out of the university's notebook by trying to get that kick over the top and trying to challenge the fullbacks again with that kick or? Do you reckon it's just at the University of Sheffield? Um, I think it's a potentially, you know, you've got to work to your strength. The University of Sheffield's got the strength to kick over and Hallam have got the strength to, I don't know, break through lines or tackle. You kind of have to work to your strengths rather than the strengths of somebody else because you could try and do the kick and if she gets it, they get it totally wrong, then they lose out even more. So we'll see. You never know. Unfortunately, she's going to make that conversion, but still 5 0 to University of Sheffield. Yep, no, no success there for Captain Emily Bentley, but. University of Sheffield strike first in what's been a, a particularly even encounter in the first 10 minutes of Varsity Women's Ones. The opening coverage of Forge TV for this year's Hallam Sports Park Day, which was in mildly different weather last year. Very. It was about, it was about four degrees and uh, we all couldn't wait to get inside, but now it's glorious. Anyway, to get us underway then, number 10, Lucy Kilheaney to get us underway back into the University of Sheffield's territory. 5-0, nice as we said. Good, good. Nice tackle. Really Lost good the ball tackle by University of Sheffield. Knock on from the University of Sheffield. Gives a penalty for Hallam in dangerous territory. We actually saw the try. Yep. Came from around this on territory here. Now can Sheffield Hallam get themselves back into this game at a really early, op earliest opportunity. 5-0, just under 10 minutes gone in women's varsity ones. Plenty more coverage coming up later on as well. We've got the rugby union men's ones as well as the men's twos football who are just beginning their training practices. But a scrum on the far side to Sheffield Hallam University to be put into the scrum by Ellis Clark. What would you do here in this situation if you if you were you, Jemima, and playing in this game? Depending on who, for example, like what they've done now, they've seen that there's a space on the left-hand side and got into the backs. Tam's in, breaking through the line there, powering through, needs some support. Oh, back up on her feet. Very good run there by Tamsi, just a boot, an accidental boot to the face there in that situation. Maybe a stoppage in a minute, but again, they were looking to penetrate down this left-hand side. And it's a penalty to Sheffield Hallam yep, University. Yep, lovely. See here, I would have taken that ball quite quickly so that we would be able to penetrate them before they were 10 yards back. Looks like we're just going to have a blood stoppage yeah. at this moment. This is a key territory here. What would you be doing if you're Sheffield Hallam here? Would you be taking the kick or going for the try? 100% going for the try. Again, the kick is only, I think it's two two points. If that and if your kicks are not accurate, if you're not comfortable in your kick, you could lose a very good chance of getting the whole seven points over just the five. I mean, over just the, the two that you would for a kick. Just and a brief, brief pause in play here while just to deal with the stoppage. Looks like they are going to go for the try line. We've already seen um, Tams in Ireland, Shiloto. She's run twice through the defence there yep. and done really, really well. Would you be giving the ball to her every time and just saying, look, that's though their weaknesses, have a run at them? Um, yeah, somewhat, but we must remember that she is a back in this. And mostly the forwards are the ones who break through lines, well, who are meant to break through lines. And, and they're working in like a pod situation right now. So I can see it's usually a forward pod that would have the ball and uh, two forward pods or one forward pod and then they'll pass it off off to the backs there but again like you said Tamsin's incredible runs been incredible and very good throughout this whole game and hopefully she'll be able to get a try out of these runs that she's doing potentially so it's set up for a thrilling first half if she was to just uh, having a little bit of a blood interchange there coming off in the University of Sheffield is vice captain Lucy Davies and replacing her we will check out in a minute they'll be playing in the inside centre but here it comes then we're just waiting for the referee to get us underway Sheffield Hallam's territory looking to penetrate and get themselves back into the game. Oh, great tackle there by University of Sheffield. Fantastic tackle on Ellis Clark. Very well disciplined. It's given back to Elspeth Ward looking to 
go through the ha uh, University of Sheffield's defence on this left-hand side, which we pointed out already, but it's given back to the University of Sheffield yep. and a penalty, much to the it's relief. Holding on. Much to the relief of the black and gold. What do you mean by uh, holding on, Jemima, just to explain? So when you go to ground and you must present the ball as soon as you go to ground, and if, for example, there's no one on your team that can get the ball, um, you must still release the ball, and some people do tend to hold on to the ball whilst they're on to ground, and that means you get a penalty for holding on to the ground. Relatively poor kick there uh, by Emily Bentley. It puts it into touch in a, a bit of a precarious situation. They'd have liked to been further up the field, wouldn't they? You'd be surprised, but I think she was going for the touch line because if you know that your strengths are um, line-outs, you might as well kick out to a line-out knowing that you're going to win the ball back and then be able to gain more ground. Now, we saw the line-out go over the locks last time. Oh, it does exactly the same there. Still back, good save there. Back to Taylor Coates. Gives them a chance for the University of Sheffield to run at the Hallam defence. Very good, good challenge there sent by there by Shiloto. She's had a really good game for Hallam Very good so game. far. Some nice nice combination of passes over there. Another good tackle as they get the ruck over and back on the far side as they look to go to that left-hand nice side. Kick, kick again. over the top. Now can Mucklow deal with this. Good speed there Here from the University Hannah of Sheffield. Here comes Hannah who got the first try, but it's out in to touch. Again, they were going for that kick over the top. They know Hannah Probert's strength is her pace. They're going to try and utilise that all very day. Very much, very, very much. She's got lovely pace there. Still 5 at nil to the black and gold. Advantage to them early on. Just over 12 minutes gone then. We were talking about the weather earlier on, Jemima. You said to me that they're going to be more likely to get tired in yep. these situations. 100%. Uh, as you know, rugby is a winter sport, so we are used to playing in cold weather, colder conditions, meaning that we can reserve our energy, less sweat gets out. So they're going to have to stay very much hydrated and really regulate how they're going to really use their energy that they've got left because this is a warm game. Back then to the University of Sheffield, there's no advantage. Pro Ooh, on the far Good side. tackle there. Really good challenge from Sheffield Hallam. No, no bottling out of that one, but Honestly. a safe legal tackle as well. As they look to get hold of the ball there, looking for the snatch of Sheffield Hallam. Can't get out of it though, and it's back with the University of Sheffield. Nice space on this right hand side if they can find it. Yeah. Going through the centre though. Very well disciplined line from Sheffield Hallam, would you say, at this stage? Very, very. And they're gaining their ground back as they're going for, which is what you're going to try and do. Really run out the defence there. I mean, the attack, sorry. Given to Lock Mottlesley there to Noah Prail. They can't get through Hallam's back line at this stage. Here they go again, the University of Sheffield looking for one gap in the area they can't find it at this stage and in fact Hallam you're right are making more ground without the ball yep. and they're doing incredibly well to stop any momentum from the University of Sheffield yep. at this stage back then to the University of Sheffield Ooh, nice good tackle, tackle there, there by Shiloto she's having a cracker of a game so far number 25 come back to the University of Sheffield just like there's been an interchange for Sheffield Hallam at this stage I think I oh. uh, think it's Olivia Watson who may, uh, may be making her appearance here back then advantage is taken very good University take Sheffield. there from Sheffield Uni really good really quick agility there from Taylor Coates to try and get at the Hallam defence it's pushed them back far and yep. they're trying to hold their line here back through here they come University of Sheffield good last ditch tackle but the penalty goes to the University of Sheffield it's also been intriguing defensive play there for yep. the last couple of minutes Hallam were right up the field but University of Sheffield reacted pushing really back. well to push him back didn't Very. they? They're using their speed that's what I'm saying they're using their speed breaking through the lines and just continuing it is good there. Ball given to Crabtree then as they look to take an advantage of pushing Hallam up the field further. Here come the University of Sheffield then. Good try from the number seven there went to ground nice and easy. At this stage, Jemima, we've seen all the kicks go through the left-hand side. Would you be tempted to put one down the right-hand side as well at this stage? If pop, yet yeah, to, to some extent, yes, so. But you can tell that they've got quite a few strong players on the right-hand side with speed as well. So Kick by Bentley, and here comes Probert to challenge Mucklow again. The huge burst of space we saw. Mucklow hasn't been able to deal with it. Here goes Probert on the far side. Now it's out to the University of Sheffield, and it's going to be a second try yep. of the game. Deja vu. Jeff is 10-0 to the University of Sheffield. We were just talking about that left-hand side, and they've capitalised on another mistake, haven't yep. they? Same thing again. They were able to break through the nine nice and quick another fumble of the ball there by the number 15 unfortunately it was met that the I think this is the captain of the other team I think it was Emily was able Fenton to get the sense. ball and just go straight for it pass it off and straight to a try that's the kind of thing that happens and rugby. little things can really mean that you can get a, a try at any point there 
chance for Sheffield Hallam to regroup. Then we said two mistakes from them so far. We'll get clarification who scored the try in a minute. But Emily, uh, Captain Emily Bentley looking for the conversion here. That left-hand side can be really key during the game, Honestly, isn't it? Honestly, they really need to get onto that left-hand side there and really keep a nice, strong defensive line from Hallam there if they want to stop them from trying on that side. But good kicks from Sheffield Uni, though. If you were the Sheffield Hallam coach, then what would you do in that situation to try and counter, counter that offensive on that far mm -hmm. side? It's all that went wrong there is that the defensive line wasn't set up quick enough, in my opinion, on that uh, on that left hand side. Um, again, the attempt was there, and I feel like oh, good conversion! Fantastic conversion there by Emily Bendley to give them the University of Sheffield the extra two points, and the black and gold are 12 0 up and have a handy advantage with just over 16 minutes gone on the clock. So Sheffield Hallam nil. University of Sheffield 12. Is this a, a bit concerning for Hallam to be two tries down at such an early stage? Um, knowing the way these games are having played in three of them myself, this is so unpredictable at this stage. Sometimes you can get two or three tries in the space of, I don't know, 15 minutes. Sometimes you can get it within no tries for the whole game. So uh, I'm still unsure as to what's going to happen, but University of Sheffield are doing a really good job so far. They are indeed. 12 points to the good. And the black and gold fans who have made the trip out here to the outskirts of Sheffield are the ones currently the happiest. But a fantastic turnout nonetheless from both sets of fans. It gets underway once again. A bit of a poor kick by Lucy Hill Heaney then. And gives it straight back to the University of Sheffield. Have a chance to drive with them. Good to tackle there on Harriet Berniston who has uh, proved to be a bit of a handful for the black and gold at this stage. Ooh, and a knock on. Oh, sorry, fumble there. Fumble there. Advantage for the Sheffield Hallam at the minute as it goes back for a knock on and a yep. penalty to Sheffield Hallam now if they strike early after conceding momentum would swing their way wouldn't it indeed it would it would let's see another scrum here and this year surprisingly both teams have great scrums really good scrums yeah they have been very good so far we yeah seen none any, collapsed uh, really flat from what we see anyway really good scrums balls going in again from Ellis Clark then just a way to see they were to Get this one out, Clark. The scrum half looking to offload it out from the hook. Oh, uni off. Turns the uh, scrum around there. Did really, really well there. University of Sheffield. Back to Ellis Clark. Then they're going to re scrum here. But uh, we'll just talk about turning around the scrum. How pivotal is it if you'd actually turn around the scrum in that sort of situation? Um, see, the thing is, uh, uh, it's quite easy to get a, a scrum to kind of move around if you've got the power at the ends of the outskirts of the scrum. But you know, you don't want to go too far because sometimes if you go too far, you will lose the penalty there. Yeah. Scrum back then with Sheffield Hallam University. Alice Clark looking to get it out of the scrum good. as she does so. And now here could be an opportunity Tams in. for Sheffield Hallam. Sheffield Down Hallam the side. Toe -toe. Good run. Good run. Penetrate this left hand side as we saw again. Good tackle there. Brings oh, it out, just out. into <laughs> touch. Good gain of ground though. Good gain of ground there from Tams in. Using her amazing leg strength there to make it through. Oh, penalty. It was a penalty. Indeed. Now here's an opportunity for Sheffield Hallam to get themselves back into the game. Just reflecting on Chamsin Chilato's performance so far. She's been the influential one for the uh, Maroon, hasn't she? Yeah, definitely, definitely. For a back as well, she's making great runs, powering through the lines there as well, which is incredible. Yeah, yeah, it goes back, nice back to Kilheaney, looking for the far side. Just Good save the there by Robin. Well, McLaren, the captain's done incredibly well there to keep the pressure on the black and gold at this stage. Back out it comes then, looking to nice drive through. Steph. Drive through the Sheffield uh, University of Sheffield defence. Steph Wielden doing really well there. Back to number, number 25. 20. Sheffield Uni there attempting Watson. to keep her up, not making, not being able to do so. But great defensive line from Sheffield Uni there, trying to get the gaps there. There you go. Here there you comes Shiloto Shiloto again. We've pointed out so far. She's looking to get through that defence. Makes up good ground at that stage of about 10 metres away from the try line. Back to the captain. Back to, back to Kilheaney. Ooh, Straight run. out to Shiloto once again. She seems to be an ever-present on the pitch. She seems to be everywhere at this stage of the match. Back out then run to now. Wielden. Looking to get through a really sturdy University of Sheffield defence. Wielden gets this the ball stage. there. Back to Wielden. Can she capitalise through? They're holding her up, trying to get her down. Good. She's done She's well to run. get them down there. University of Sheffield, they just need to ride off that this pressure. That gap on the left-hand side would have been really nice for someone with a bit of speed. Oh, oh ball. Ball last penalty. The universe, a bet penalty. Oh. Referee may have just gone back on their oh, decision. Oh, there, there we go. Penalty against Uni of Sheffield. 
Elspeth Ward did really well there for the Univers uh, Sheffield Hallam to get on this left-hand side again. It seems really like both left-hand sides are the weakest parts of the pitch, doesn't it? Indeed, and that's Hannah Courtney there with the ball. Good, she made it to ground. Back out ball out there to, to number Olivia 25. Watson. Olivia Watson looking to get through that gap there. Can't Good, find made it to ground. this stage. Is it the inevitable, inevitable? Is a try coming out to Shiloto? Oh! Back, back then to McLaren who spills it and it gives them a chance. Back to but another penalty. Good attempt for Sheffield there. Halland. The pressure is seemingly not going anywhere for the black and gold at this stage. They just need to ride this rough part of the period out. Just over half of the first half complete. Sheffield Halland University nil. University of Sheffield 12. I think this is a scrum now. So we've got a nice scrum. I believe it's University of Sheffield scrum. Let's see if it is or not. I think it is. In, I think it is indeed at this part. So yeah, they've done that. They've like done it. incredibly well to ride off that pressure at, at such a, a crucial stage, really. If, they, yep. if you, Sheffield haven't got a try at that, that time, then the momentum was swung with them for just over Probably half kick. left. Probably going to kick. Yep, there we go. Good kick up the field. Now let's watch the bounce to see what happens with Muckler. Good Deal catch there. Really Better well for there. Muckler. Now Muckler has a chance to run at the University of Sheffield's defence, but to no Good avail. Good run. The door is Good run. shut just about, but she's done incredibly well to get herself that far up the field. Very good run. Back to Hannah Courtney there with the ball. Back to Hannah Courtney. Can she get through? No, it's still not straight to ground. No problem. That's good. Incredibly sturdy defence. Back to Wielden. Can Wielden bully her way through the University of Sheffield defence? They're doing well and they're making up ground slightly as they at this stage. That's back. Bronwyn Hall there with the ball. Made a little bit of ground, which was good. Back to Hall. Nothing out of that one. Here it is back to Ellis Clark, uh, back to McKinney, back out to Shiloto, across then to the captain, McLaren, he's trying there to get through. Lovely dealt step with, there. Dealt with incredibly well after a good step by McLaren there. The University of Sheffield. Great attempt to steal there from Sheffield Uni, failed though. University of Sheffield. Lovely space used there by Tamsin. Done incredibly well there, Shiloto, she's been the star for the Maroons so far, but still they can't get a point on the board at Great this attempting. stage. Okay, great. Good play from Charlotte Hancock there of Sheffield Hallam University trying to get them up the field, but a penalty Beginning to Sheffield to University. The They've dealt with it really well Sheffield there. Hallam. They're, they're just riding out the pressure there. Now have they have a chance to attack. There. A lot of space on that left hand side again. Really good take there by Hannah Pro, but she's good. So it's so got her down. Amazing tackle there by Tamsin. Really good tackle there by Shiloto. Here they come then, the University of Sheffield looking for that attack once more. Oh, Stavaza tackle then, a really good step away from Elspeth Ward of Sheffield Hallam. Back to the University of Sheffield. Can they exploit this line? The space here on the right hand side. Can you get it? Um, fumble there. Great break. Great break there from Robin at McLaren. The knock on their advantage. Sheffield Hallam at this stage looking through. Good attempt there no. from number eight. There was no no way of getting through Megan Whitaker of the university. She needs to go to ground. There. A good, she's been able to make it. Ooh, or not. Advantage can't be played though. Penalty to Sheffield Hallam University and it's going to be uh, another scrum. So over half, half of the first half gone, Jemima, who do you think's edged the half for you, even without the scoreline being reflected? I do think Sheffield Hallam have done a really good job. The ground has been predominantly on the left side of the pitch, the further up towards the um, Sheffield Uni try line. I mean, Sheffield Hallam try line. No, Sheffield Uni try line? That way, yeah. Towards um, Hallam having more um, ground most of the time. And I feel like most of the, most of the, the both of the tries that were conceded for um, against Hallam were because of little mistakes and little gaps. So I feel like at the moment, in terms of territory, Hallam are really doing a good job, but then the University of Sheffield are really taking a good opportunity of the of the little mistakes that Hallam were doing. Indeed, looks like the scoreline could be the only one that matters. They're just an interchange made. They're losing Davies for the University of Sheffield. Just come off, she still seems to be struggling with a little bit of a problem at uh, this moment. Back then, Penalty Sheffield for Hallam. Hallam with their penalty. Now a chance Steph. to drive the defence. Wielding looking to find Great that gap. break there. She's done incredibly well there to get through. No, no way uh, through at this ground. stage though. Great, she's made it to ground. Great, again another penalty for Sheffield Hallam. They should take this really nice and quick. Penalty again for Sheffield Hallam. They're trying to make up slow territory. With the University of Sheffield defending with their lives at stake here basically. <laughs> They've done incredibly well so far. They're not shying out from any tackle. Lovely now. run there from Bronwyn. Run from Bronwyn Hall there, but again, 
really well done by the University of Sheffield. Hope looking to get Ooh, that penalty. Oh, fumbled. Fumble and a penalty to the University of Sheffield. They've uh, ridden their chances throughout this so far, but they're getting, they're getting the luck really on their side and the, clinical, the clinicalness of getting to, to the try line. They've exposed Hallam's weaknesses at this stage, but it's a scrum to the University of Sheffield. Been just over 25 minutes just gone on the clock. Still 12-0 to University of Sheffield here. Hallam Sports Park, where it only seems to be getting hotter yeah, and hotter. And hotter. It's not, not the day to wear a suit, let's say that. <laughs> Coming from the guy wearing a suit. Yeah, I know. Suffering already. 12 0, though, as the scrum comes out. Lovely. Back to the University Ooh, Sheffield. Fumble there, and that's going to be a penalty to Sheffield Hallam. It's going to be an advantage. Ah, the referee, referee has Call stopped it. it there. You know, danger, this is a dangerous position, uh, Jemima, in this, in this situation. What, what side would you be looking to attack from here? Because we've seen Sheffield at the University have had a weakness on this left-hand side as well. Yeah, so it's all depending on their players. If you've got some really powerful players which you know will be able to break through the defensive line, it'd be important to use them at this point. But all need to use them to a certain extent because they will get tied, um, always going through into play. So then usually utilising the backs that you've got lovely set out there. Um, currently, a lot of speed in the back line. We've got Tams and we've got Robin there as well. So... You know, a bit of both there, just kind of trying to trying to just make some ground there. Back out to Sheffield Hallam, a chance for Shalotis to run, run there, but just a fumble, but she still has got it back to Kahini over on the far side. To good Sean catch there Judd. number 14. Here comes Judd, a very good tackle. She's yeah. gone out of touch. Great defence from the University of Sheffield on that Great far left hand side. Great number 14. Sean Judd. Sean Judd. Good well. catch there. We've seen already there. Pace is going to be key today, isn't it? Very much, very much so. The, when you go down the little sideline, you need the pace to be able to get through and stay inside as well. But you need to make sure you're not too close to the sideline to be pushed down. It looks like we're just going to have a couple of interchanges for the Sheffield. University of Sheffield in at the minute. Yes, we are indeed a few changes being made there. One of them coming up, I think, is uh, Megan Whitaker from Scrum Half, who's had a solid game, to say the least. 27 minutes gone then. Sheffield Hallam University nil, University of Sheffield 12. Line out on that side for the University of Sheffield. They've dealt with the line outs very well, University of Sheffield, haven't they? This been yep. their forte, some may say. See, the she University of Sheffield have back pod and a front pod, you see, so that's their advantage. So they can throw it to whoever they want. Now a chance to get out of their territory. Any penalty around this area against the University of Sheffield could be costly. Trying to come out onto oh, this right hand side. She's got through the defence there. She's dealt with it. Hallam had dealt with it incredibly well. Ball's free, but then a kick up the field yeah, by Bentley. Now they're going to try and challenge the kick kick because here comes Hannah Probert on that far side. Of course, she's the one that's yeah, proved influential so far for the black there. and gold. Very dealt, well dealt with by Megan Mutlow and a good tackle by Hannah Probert, who for me has been the standout for the University of Sheffield so far, not only getting score on the try on the try she's been in the good ever present there. good catch there by Bron. she's on her own but it's cool Hannah Courtney's got ball stolen by University of Sheffield unfortunately there back then with the University of Sheffield on this so side, left hand the side, side they've seen the, the gap they've seen they're looking, the gap looking to try and get Probert on the ball again they can't do it at that stage it's a penalty to Sheffield Hallam University right about on the uh, halfway line I'm sure Black and gold won't mind this breather. Just under 30 minutes gone then. We've just seen, again, they're looking to get the ball out to Hannah Pro, but she's yep. the one who's key for the University of Sheffield. Literally, she's got some incredible speed on her. She does. Breaking through the lines and just making it. She's just always there. She's always there and always ever present, which is always a great thing to have. University of Sheffield looking to get it to their key man there as Ellis Clark puts the ball into the scrum nice and out comes there, out there again and a chance sloppy mistake there now a chance for the good University of Sheffield to great gain some ground at this stage good tackle by Megan Whitaker who's just come back on good steal there, there from on. University of Sheffield now pushed Whittaker over the rock there nicely side. can the University of Sheffield make it three from three tries in this match they seem to be stepping quite a lot to get out of these tackles, which is doing them really well, actually. For Sheffield Hallam at this stage, penalty for University of Sheffield, by the way, but for Sheffield Hallam at this stage, is it a case of just keep going? Because it is 80 minutes, isn't it? People are going to falter. Yep. You're going to have to, like, regardless of what the score says, you always have to keep on going because you don't know how the score can change in literally the next 10 minutes. So regardless whether it's the last five minutes or the first five minutes, you just got to keep on going. On to the final 15 line for the University of Sheffield. Now they're Good through with it with Whitaker. 
good tackle by Mark Lowe there, who's starting to uh, grow into the game after the early, early the challenges there. he's faced. Now the University of Sheffield looking to get it over the try line. Can they get another five metres? They're going for it. This is Can where Sheffield well, Hallam well needs held to up really, by Sheffield really Hallam keep there. their defensive line tight. Well held up by Sheffield Hallam there as the University of Sheffield look to drive through. Yep. And they try get scored. there as well. Another try for the University of Sheffield from Charlotte Johnston, the loose head prop has scored a fantastic try there and it's 17-0 to the University of Sheffield. Three chances, three tries at this stage, Jemima. That was a really good one. She went through the gap and she spotted out there. Nice the gap was there. Good attempt there from Sheffield Hallam University. They kept it up for a little while. It's just, again, the little gaps that you forget about that they made through. Really good try there from Sheffield University. Ben looking to make it two from three conversions, but a fantastic try there from Charlotte Johnston puts the University of Sheffield in a really handy position at this early stage. Now, can Bentley make it 19-0 in the first half to the University of Sheffield? And what would be a little bit of a concern for the team followers of the Maroon. Bentley just waiting to take the kick, iron it up. Going for it, just trying to chase down. And it's a it's a, not a success. Unfortunately, not close success. though. Just fell short. Close. Just fell short. Quite deceptive from this angle. But anyways, it's still 17-0 to the University of Sheffield with 30, 32 minutes on the clock. What would you do if you were Sheffield Hallam in this situation now? Is the worst thing you could do would be panic? <laughs> Always the worst <laughs> thing to do would be panic. What I would be doing at this place, at this pay, I mean time of the match, would be just keeping hold of the ball, making sure that Sheffield Uni does not get the ball at any time. You know, the more you keep on the ball, the less likelihood that Sheffield Hallam, I and mean, Sheffield Uni will be able to score. So, just really protecting the ball like a baby at this point. Kick off by Kilhaney, and then fumbled there by the captain Ellie Bentley with only around seven minutes left of this first period. Bentley looking to drive through on that far side. She's been influential as well. The link up between her and Hannah Probert for the University yeah. Would you say that's been the game changer at this stage? Yeah, they've always been together and they've always been present in the right times and the right spaces. And, you know, that's all it takes to get a try, being in the right time, the right place. And they've been a really good job in being there all the time. 17-0 then. Can Sheffield Callum get that response? They've got a scrum just near the 15-metre line of the University of Sheffield's half and they've dealt with so well with the pressures so far of what this game has provided in what is unconventionally challenging conditions to say Very, those. very challenging conditions, which most rugby players are not used to, so... Okay. Back out to Shiloto. Here he comes Shiloto, and then now with a run. chance drive. Nice Looks to get that line out. Here's McLaren. Looks to get Ooh. out with a fumble there and a knock off the University of Sheffield. And now they have a chance to get up the field good and out of their own there. half. Really good tackle there on Tory, on Tory Wensley of the University of Sheffield. They have the advantage at this stage. They oh, through, line broken there. It so broke the line at this stage. Can Mucklow deal with it? Just about in the end, but very, really very intelligent there. play from the University of Sheffield. They won't want to see the line being broken too much. Will honestly, they, honestly, because that's what they've been doing so far, making it through the lines and going to a try. So this is where Sheffield Hallam need to keep their defensive line nice and tight so they can't break through any, any more of these lines. Still 17-0 then. Just over five minutes left of the first half. Can the University of Sheffield get real momentum going into the final final period then before the interval? Over on that far side Ooh, to prove it then. Throw Back there. to prove Good it. attempt there. Couldn't Nearly fumbled there, but we kept kept the ball there for Sheffield. Couldn't Sheffield capitalise. Looks like we might have a slight injury. stoppage in injury though. But as we come to the twilight stage of the first half, Jemima, what would your be, uh, analysis be of it? I think Sheffield Uni are making a really good, really good use of the the mistakes that Sheffield Hallam are uh, kind of like doing and having right now, breaking through the sidelines, using their speed to their advantage at the moment, which is going great for them. Um, um, from the side of Sheffield Hallam, they're doing a good job of keeping their keeping their territory because most of the game has been. Um, in the Sheffield Uni territory, again, like I said, the, it's just the little mistakes now. It is just the little mistakes that are kind of throwing them off. And I feel like some of them just need to get their heads back in the game. And, you know, maybe some speed, some more um, runs from Shilato would be great. Um, yeah. It does indeed look like that speed's been the key for them so far. 17-0 then to the University 
of Sheffield as the uh, stoppage looks like it's coming to an end. It looks like it's a 22. Yeah, Olivia Watson may have been the one who just took a slight knock there, but a chance then for both teams to regroup will be the, the final, final action really of this first half at the sun-kissed Sheffield Hallam Sports Park. Tries then from Hannah Provet, Charlotte Johnson and there was a real muddle to get the other one who it was. There was about three players going for the same three ball players, on the line. So the most important thing is that scoreline at this stage and the University of Sheffield have that uh, have that advantage. Scrum on the, on the far side then. Sheffield ten, Union scrum. Ten metres away from the halfway line. What would you do if you're in Sheffield Union in this situation, Jemima? Use your speed. Speed. Use your speed. Been, been if you can get the momentum up, you can break through the line really easily. And if she's got the endurance, you'll make it. 17 now, then waiting for the ball to come out of the scrum. Delivered. Oh, slight by fumble Wicker. there. Good fumble tackle there. there by who's that? That was Shiloh. So again, she's had an incredibly good game at this early stage. Scrum for Sheffield. 25. Hallam, There's a few. Few, 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 would you say a few fumbles which shouldn't really be made, being made a, a recurring? Um, do you know what? The weather has its effects on you, so I can understand why the little fumbles, sweaty hands uh, are going to make the ball slip out of your hands even more so. So it's just making sure that you're really going to grab the ball with your whole body rather than just your hands at this stage. And surprisingly, they've not had any water to drink, which is very concerning, but they're doing a really good job. Ooh, Back out there, mistake from there from Sheffield, Sheffield Hallam. Good Uni. steal from University of Sheffield to Probert on that far side. She's given Good a chance speed. to run through then. She finds the gap. Can she use her speed? Look Here goes that. Hannah Probert. And it's another try for Hannah Probert. A fantastic Maisie run and burst of speed. University of Sheffield 22-0 up at an early stage. And a second try for Hannah Probert. She's been a star today. Honestly, for like I said, the speed is it. Once you've got the speed, nice little step there from the side avoiding the Sheffield Hallam um, opponents. And she's made it through right into the middle. Really, really good run there from her. How concerned would you be if you were Hallam that your line's been broken a fair few times now to say? Um, personally, I wouldn't say the word concerned. I'd be like more, because when you, when you associate the word concerned with a, a team that's currently playing, that usually puts them off. I'd rather say to the teammates that we need to just focus on actually keeping that line, because if you can keep them from actually, if you can keep them from um, scoring the tries, that means they won't score the tries. Bridget Jones Crabtree here looking to make the conversion here. Can she? Nice positioning there. Really good position. Really Look, good. To get a 24 0 advantage before the break in this sweltering heat. Lovely. Of course, it was going to be a success. Good conversion there by Crabtree. Makes it 20, 24 0 put to the University of Sheffield at this stage. Now, is that a real, not demoralising, but a bit of a kick in the teeth that Sheffield Hallam can see, especially late in the first half? It's a bit unfortunate, isn't it? Because, again, they have, I think they haven't lost the game here by the women's ones in about five years. So this is a bit, a bit tough and intense to take in. And so I'll be disappointed if I wasn't Sheffield Hallam team, but I'd rather use it as a motivation to kind of keep on going. And they are getting tired. You know, we never know what can happen in the second round. But no, University of Sheffield are really doing a good job. University of Sheffield here. Three tries to the good at this early stage. Back then. Good release Robert. there. Lovely good release. Lovely step there from University of Sheffield as well. Good step from Crabtree. Now there's time to look for maybe even one more try in this first period. Can't get through. Stern Hallam defence at this stage. Good there, looked good, for good. the space, went through the space. Good, good try there. There's been a few good steps from the Sheffield University, hasn't there? But yeah. just reflecting on Hannah Probert's performance as we come towards the end of this first half, she is the, the influential difference between the scoreline as it is. It is, it's true, very true. She uses the steps and she's got the speed as well, so catching her is tough. Is indeed back. There you go. Then University Sheffield looking Good to get themselves to there from Bron. away from their away from their half hall. Couldn't get us out of the grasps there though. Just over oh, one minute to go in the first half. Very now. unanticipated there. No Attack. one in Hallam saw that coming. Good catch there from Charlie. Testing them out there. Chance to try and get up the field then, but well dealt with. Oh, very well stolen from the University. Field. But a penalty for uh. Sheffield Hallam, which will likely be the uh, latter stages of this. Sheffield Hallam University, 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 University
great attempt there, gone to ground. Sheffield Uni are very quick to the ball, must say. Even though she has gone to the ground, unfortunately, so that'll be a penalty for Hallam. Penalty for Hallam in this situation. Just under 20 seconds. Ooh. Oh, yellow card. Sin bin there oh, for the University two. of Sheffield. Taylor Coates is spending so much time in the sin bin at this stage. Steph there with the ball, hopefully she can break through a space a little bit. Now Hallam with the one man attempt. advantage, 15 v 14 for the final pit stage. Hallam needs to be quicker half. to the ball. Oh. Sheffield, you know, stolen the ball two times, well, near enough two times there. Ishaloto gives it out to McLaren, looking on the far side to mm -hmm. Mucklow. Can she get it over to Sean Judge? He's going for the run, but Good again, attempt, very well Sean. dealt with. Mucklow is there on the far side with McLaren, who has the ball now as the 40 minutes Go, as the clock goes past 40 minutes and comes towards the end of the first uh, half out of play it goes a loose pass from Sean Judd and that is the half time interval here the score line is Sheffield Hallam University nil University of Sheffield 22 tries for Charlotte Johnson and two for Hannah Probert as well as one from run from unknown one we'll, go, we'll, we'll yeah. try and get clarification that. It, 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 it was a model there was a bit of a a better stage, but the University of Sheffield, the black and gold, have the strong advantage here as we hand back over to our presenter, Jimena. Thanks for that, Matt and Jemima. I'm joined by Yash and Sartak to discuss what's happened in the first half. I mean, it's been quite eventful so far. Um, Uniov yeah. have a clear lead, um, but I, I don't think that actually the teams have been that uneven in their performance. So what do you guys think? Yeah, I thought it was a really, really good match. We're very intense. Um, I thought Uniov um, gave away quite a few penalties to Hallam. Yep. What do you think, Sartak? What I think is like Hallam were good at the, with the ball. At one point, they had retained the ball for 11 phases of play but they were unable to break behind the uni back line yeah. and they whenever really strong defense yes and yeah. whenever Hallam made a mistake uni of Sheffield just punished them and the first yeah. and the second tries were just scored like that yeah I felt like they they were really smart uni of was really smart but I have to give it to Hallam as well they worked really hard as well team Hallam yeah <coughs> With Sheffield Hallam, what I think is like they were trying to bring the two halves in play quite often and the wing back, wing halves not helping them out. Yeah. And which is what they have to do if they have to come back into this game. Yeah. I, I just thought, yeah, it was a really intense match. Um, I really enjoyed it, though. Uh, I'm actually excited for the second round because is it just me? But I think Team Hallam's going to come back really strongly because last year Team Hallam actually won this match. Yeah. So I'm expecting Team Hallam to come back with a really strong defence for the next half. What do you think? Uh, well, in this sort of game, since this is a Sheffield derby, obviously, form often goes out of the window. And obviously, Uni of Sheffield has mm -hmm. the momentum at this point of time. Yeah. And Sheffield Hallam University really needs to work hard if they want to get any point out of, out of this game. Yeah, Uniov was very skillful with it. Yeah, yeah, so do you think that momentum that Uniov have at the moment is going to really push them forward? Do you think that's going to affect Hallam? Um, kind of psych them out a little bit, make them think they've kind of already lost this, or do you think they're just going to come back fighting even stronger? Uh, no, I believe Team Hallam's going to come back fighting even stronger. This is, I, I feel like since they've already won last year, there's a bit of pressure on them as well. Yep. But I feel Uni of Sheffield was really skillful with the way they were playing as well. They were really, they really came back strongly as well. So I think it's going to be a really tough fight, and I'm quite interested to see what's well, going to happen. Well, let us put it like that Sheffield Hallam University needs to score the next try or the take the next point in the game if yeah. they have to come back into this. Yeah, there were a few conversions that went really well as well, but then I felt like Unioff missed quite a few as well. Uh, they missed two, scored yeah, two, two, which is in yeah. line with their league form. Like They convert around 50% of their yeah. tries into conversions. So, Do you think that those conversion points, like they're going to miss them later on in the match, or do you think they've got such a lead that the missed conversions aren't I, really going to affect it. Yeah, I hope um, complacency doesn't come to the uni of team. Um, I don't know, what do you think about this, Sata? Uh, I, I think they will actually be able to push it, but I think team I Hallam's think it's like if Sheffield Hallam comes back into this game, yeah, they, they convert could. really well. They have yep. a 60% conversion ratio, so, so let's see what that takes them. Yeah, I think Team Holland's going to come back really strongly. That's why I'm really excited. Fair enough. Off. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah. But um, have there been any standout performance performances for you so far? Like any players that have really caught your eye as they've been going? The two wing wingers of Uni of Sheffield, they were playing really well yep. and they were really well supported by the outside players of the Uni of Sheffield. Yeah. So I particularly like the captains as well. I was actually just like, eyeing their every movement, actually. Yeah. They were really strong, actually. Um, really good sportsmanship as well throughout the game, which is what I enjoyed a lot. And 
for Sheffield Hallam University, Ellis Clark and Lucy Kilhenny has been playing really well, but they didn't have that much of support from the rest mm. of the players. And we, it is really a team game, and we think the entire it team must a, step it, up. It, yeah, it is a team uh, sportsmanship kind of game. Teamwork, a lot of teamwork is needed for yeah. this game, really. Yeah, you are right. Yeah, yeah. I think it's it's been interesting to notice that she um, Uni of Sheffield have. They've made more fumbles with the ball. They've given away more penalties. Yeah, they but they have, yeah. they've really utilised whenever Team Hallam have yeah, made which a is mistake. what I thought was very skillful yeah. in that fact. They um, were very crafty. <coughs> if you notice, yeah. Sheffield Hallam they fumbled the ball twice at very crucial positions, yes. which was very near to the try line and yeah. It was like five yards walk to the park for Uni of to score yeah, the strike. Yeah, before the match ended, they yeah, did get they the last conversion. So that was yeah. Yeah, because leading on from that, like. What about the defense? The defense of like both teams, because it seems that whenever Uniov have made a fumble at the back, they've kind of defended quite well. Whereas Hallam necessarily haven't had that strong yeah, defense. Yeah, um, that was something I was going to point out because Hallam, um, I'm not really sure, but Team Hallam did not exactly have a very strong defense, in my yeah. opinion. Um, Uniov had a very strong defense. Whenever they fumble, they always pick themselves back up and they'll come back really strongly. Let's put it that way. Uniov Sheffield, they are playing on the counters. They are picking Hallam out too often and mm. th they are defending for their lives it is like they want this varsity point more than Sheffield Hallam and at the end of the day it doesn't matter in this yeah. sort of games how how skillful you are but do you want the game do you want yeah. to really win the game okay yeah. so it looks like all the action is just about to kick off now so we'll hand back over to the commentators thank you very much Himena and it's been a dominated performance from the University of Sheffield on the scoreboard so far 24-0 it is at this stage standout Hannah Probert with two tries back with the University of Sheffield then looking to drive through there Rebecca Kemble who's come on at the interchange of course Taylor Coates is in the sim bin at this stage and the University of Sheffield are down to 14 Cal Hallam make this one woman advantage count at, an, at the earliest stage in the second half well inside University of Sheffield's territory early on looking to get there as well is Steph Wilden as a rejoined by Jemima Owusu. Jemima, are we expecting more of the same from the second half, would you say? Um, hopefully not. Hopefully they've had like a little, a nice little chat with the coach there and really got their heads back on. Um, and hopefully we'll see something different this time round. Good stuff there from Charlie Mucklow. Good attempt there. Get through a penalty for the University of Sheffield. We're on this near side this time for the University of Sheffield, so we're going to see yep. just what threat Rob, uh, Anna Prova is, is proving to be for the University of Sheffield. Good what would you, kick what there. Would, what would you do if you're Sheffield Hallam to try and counter that threat? Keep the ball away from her. <laughs> it's nah, it's it's as simple as that. Simple as that. Nothing. You know, the star players, and I'm, she's just really shining in comparison to everyone else right now, so you just need to make sure keep your eye on the threat, make sure if she doesn't get the ball, she can't get through the line. So... I'd be aiming to get the ball away from her or keep the, way, the ball away from the University of Sheffield as a whole. Line out then for the University of Sheffield, I believe, at this stage. And they've proven to be a handful from the line outs here to be living yep. like Megan Hughes. Just going to see at the back there. Nicola, Nicola Goh is also on and she looks like she's going to try and collect the ball. But looking to counter that uh, threat where it's going over the locks every time. Nope, Dealt with well there. by Pro, but back then to Megan Whitaker who's looking to go for the run. Here's the Easy Davies, the vice captain, Good back catch on, there. on that far side. Uh, slight to fumble Amy, there. Amy Lomack looking to get through though. And it's a penalty to Sheffield Hallam for uh, a knock on, knock on. Only two minutes gone in this second period so far. But University of Sheffield, the three tries to the good. Uh, four tries to the good over Sheffield Hallam with 24 points on the scoreboard to Hallam's nil. Can they stage what would be quite a miraculous comeback? To say Honestly, I think here at this point, University of Sheffield just need to make sure they keep on to the ball. Because, uh, uh, like you said, four tries up anyway. As long as they keep on to the ball, then they should be good. Um, about composure at this stage of the game really isn't it this early stage as well the second half yeah like any other sport you do not want to concede a try or any or any form of goal good there. line there Back by Hallam right lovely run there on his right side here it goes Robin McLaren the captain still going good, good run there very good last ditch oh, tackle by Tory Wensley a fantastic challenge there by Tory Wensley back out Sheffield Hallam here they go once again that is 
Charlotte's Hancock looking to try and go through, but no. Good attempt, though. No way through. They just need to be fast here and really here, powerful through the gap. Here's Watson. Nice going gap the there. Try. Can't get Good through. attack. Can't, Good attempt. Can't get through. Need to do the same stage. thing again. Elspeth there with the ball. Seen a gap. Tried to go for it. Didn't make it, though, but could try. Charlotte. Good hands there going up to the backs. Back on that far side. Here's Shiloto over on the far side to McLaren. Here's Mockler looking to go through the defence. Maybe she could it's have. It's a little bit too slow maybe there. Maybe Sidestepping isn't going to help. You've got to run through the line. Maybe she could have offloaded it to Tabby Grove there, but they look to be taking that man advan uh, woman advantage at, a, at this stage, don't they? See, this is where you'd need speed because the University of Sheffield are on the line. It would be nice to get a really speedy, powerful person onto the ball there, but let's see what happens. Dangerous territory Very. for Sheffield Hallam here. Just deliberating about uh, what they're going to do at this stage. They're going to go for, they have to go for the try line really at this point of the game. Just under five minutes gone on the clock in this second half. And the teams are walking out for the men's twos football as well. We'll keep you updated, of course. We'll have coverage of that once this. Good try there. On this Get side. it. Oh, yes, Tamsi. Deserving try from Shiloto, a nice step inside there and found the gap to go over the try line. 5.24 at this stage, can they capitalise on this current version? We talked about the early, early, early scoring in the match. That might be a bit of concern for the black and gold. At this stage, if I was them, I wouldn't be too concerned about just remember not to let our guard down because what happens is when you've got four tries to none or four tries to one, Sometimes you can't let your guard down and kind of just think you've already won the game, but they just need to remember to keep it up and hold what they've got at this point because, again, like I said, anything's possible, anything can happen. Shiloto, the first on the scoreboard for Sheffield Hallam University in the women's ones, fast team rugby union final. Her and Hannah Brewer for the University of Sheffield have been the standout performers nonetheless so far. Can Kilheny look for this conversion here? Slightly difficult angle, but would you say? Ultimate, ultimately conventional. She's good. She's got it. She's very, good. Very good kick there. And pump the fist <laughs> to the crowd. She's up for it. Everyone's up for it. The maroon and the black and gold here. 7:24. Sheffield Hallam University are definitely back in the game. I think this is good though. This will get their, you know, their motivation right back up and boost their spirits a little bit and make them think a bit like you can maybe take this back, which is something that you need to be able to do and have your mindset for. Uh, in a tight game like this. With now, we, we know at the University of Sheffield is still like one in the Simbin. Sheffield Hallam must be thinking this is ultimately like a power play. Yep. They've surely got to go for it here. They're going to have to. They get another try. They're really in the match. Really, very, very much so. So it's still 7.24 at this stage of the game. Over into Hallam territory then. Another Good, catch, good, sir. good take by the captain, Robin McLaren, but she's well dealt with five Sheffield defenders swarming around her at that stage to stop any momentum. Back then from Kilheny, back then to Wielden, she's looking to try and bully her way through. Can't find it at this stage. Good, oh, really great good break of the line there. there. Great try, great try there. That's a really good attempt there. Look how much ground they've gained in that little time frame. Good there. ground, but a fantastic challenge by Hannah Probert. Lovely balls to the back. Side. Again, Tam's in there, trying to, to attempt to break the line. Winning around. Shiloto back. Passing off the side. On that good far hands. Side to Judd. Good tackle. Nice attempt. Good, good tackle, tackle there by Tory yeah. Wensley, though, for Sheffield University to snuff out any danger at that stage. Back then with Sheffield Hallam quickly take the. They need to run forward. Sheffield Hallam do is a little bit of a. I'm not sure what's going on there, but lead to run forward at this stage. Just over seven minutes gone of the fir uh, first period of the Good second tackle half. by number 18 there. 7.24 at this stage. Back it goes then. Out. Nice gap on the left-hand side here. Again there Back by their Robin captain, the breaking captain. the gap. She's finding the really, gaps there. Really, really good try there. They're take, making use of this woman advantage here. It's been around a 15 versus 14 in the minute with Sin Bind, Taylor Coates for the University of Sheffield. Ooh, great attempt to steal the ball there. Lovely save there. Looking to get through the line. She needs help though, she needs help done, though, Hallam. Done incredibly well there. Back it goes then to Lucy Kilheny on the ball, on, on the ball now. Bonham Hall looking to try and get through. Sheffield University really have to ride out this pressure. It's an incredible 
good, good run to stage. Get there. 25. Great attempt to steal there by Sheffield Uni. Done well. Ah, indeed there. Got, got the really penalty. good Uni. Really good discipline defending from Uni. They had to ride out their danger a bit in the early stages of this the second half. Hallam have really been on top, haven't they? Yeah, they've really tried. I feel like they've got the mojo back, but they just need to keep it that way no matter what happens in the game. Thanks to the University of Sheffield. They're doing some really good uh, counter rocking there to get the ball back just as they got the ball back here. 7.24 then at this stage of the match. Now it's time for the University of Sheffield to get their regroup, to regroup together. Here on the ball, here is Crabtree looking to try and get them and drive them up the field. Back it goes then to Katie Brayman who gives it back down on the far side. Back to Megan Hugas looking to batter her way through the Hallam line. She's done incredibly well to get over the tackle there and further than she would have anticipated. Back it goes then to good kick Megan there. Whittaker, a really good kick Look from at Whittaker. That coming Here through. comes the bounce, can he test uh, out? Can he test to try again? Attempt. And a penalty for the University of Sheffield. Really didn't need that fumble there by Mucklow. She's found it really challenging so far, especially with the handling. It is tight, that's what I'm saying, it is tight. Sometimes it's just a mental thing. If you can't get your head in the game, that's just it. But hopefully we'll make our way back. One or two mistakes that happens, but let's see if we can make our way back. University of Sheffield then with a scrum just about five metres inside Uni uh, Sheffield Hallam University's half but put into the scrum by Flair Freya Entwistle this time round. Again, I must say these scrums have been really nice to look at from here. Impressive, very flat. Imp very impressive scrums. No, no collapsing in the scrums as you get out it comes. Then back to Whitaker. Oh, good Whittaker switch over there. Oh, the lovely. Attack. Good tackle. But at least there. 21. Amy Loma gets through to the defence. Well stopped though by Sheffield Hallam at this stage. Calling for, they call it for women over on this far side. They know the left hand side is a real danger here. Probert just looking to help out with the rock over at that stage. Oh, good attempt there. Tried to hold her up and a good steal yeah, there by Shiloto, but a penalty has been given. Oh, the yeah. University of Sheffield is more time to regroup and get their focus on at this stage. 50 minutes gone, Sheffield Hallam University strike first in the second half with a lovely try and conversion from from both McLaren and Kill. Is that left hand side from, from Shiloto? Clear. Oh, good tackle Kiel there. Hughes. Looking to keep it clear at this stage. Back it comes then to Katie Brown. Great Braven. tackle there from Bron. Another good tackle from Bronwyn Hall. Just keeping the Sheffield University in a position they really don't want to be kicked by Kick again. Nice Now here run comes there. the challenge. Can Davies look to get on the run for it on that far side as well? Good we had Tory Wednesday trying Mucklow. to get. Mucklow's just got it back. Mucklow's done line. incredibly. Well done. Mucklow's, done. Mucklow's done incredibly well there to get it back for Sheffield Hallam University and trying to burst back into the University of Sheffield half. Just under half an hour left of Good the kick game. There Fantastic by kick. Now can Probert meet this on the thing? She gets it, what drop once, but safely. Oh, nice fumble. Lovely run fumble. there by Captain. Again, it's proved Attempted to be difficult. Tackle. Now Probert has good a chance. Good tackle by number 14. Really good Judge. tackle. Really good tackle by Sean Judge there on Probert. She looks like she might be nursing an injury at this uh, stage of the game. As we've seen, handling from kicks has proved to be a real difficult concept so far in these unorthodox, challenging conditions. Just right in front of us here on the... Just I must say, Sheffield Union are really doing well at keeping their rocks and keeping the ball. Yeah, I was just about to touch on that. The yeah. University of Sheffield have been really, really disciplined, haven't they? Very good counter rocking. Just lost the ball there, Sam. Oh, just lost the ball there. Ball back to Sheffield Hallam University. Good steal there. Turnover to Hallam. Here it is. Will Kilheeney back then to Ward, who has a chance to try and drive back to the University of Sheffield's defence. Really well dealt with as the ruck comes over. Back to Kilheeney. Here is. Good attempt there. Beth, Beth McDaniel now has just come on from an interchange. Back to Kilheeney in the rut. Up it goes oh, then. Oh, lovely. Back to Shiloto. Nice play to Shiloto. He looks to try and get Breaks through that through space. The very well. well there very make, good one to make ground. Make, make the ground that she's had to there. But really, really good tackle by Megan Whitaker in the circumstances. Good carry there. there. Doing incredibly well here. 24 7 and a penalty to Sheffield Hallam. Lovely. In what will be precarious situation here. They're going to go for the try again, aren't they? Have to here. 7 24. Point still heading to the black and gold at the minute, but anything can happen. Good tackle there by black and gold. Really good tackle there. 
from the University of Sheffield back to Kill Healy. Now Bethany on it is Daniels. Mike McDaniel looking to try and drive through, but again, very well disciplined defending. A really good line set up from the University of Sheffield at this stage as they're back to a, their full strength. Yep. Really good defensive line, nice and tight where the ball is at, which is what you need. Uh, slight fumble there, straight to ground, knock on. Slight fumble, but I think Taylor Coates is back on, so it's 15 feet 15 at this stage and uh, Sheffield Hallam proved that when there's a man at uh, woman advantage you really do need to counter Take at that time. 100%. Scrum over on A couple the changes made there for Sheffield in, Uni. few interchanges made there. One coming off, Katie Brayman's coming off, so did Rebecca Kemble as well. Still 7.24 here, football just kicked off over on the far pitch. We'll have coverage of that after the conclusion of this match. Oh, lovely scrum there from Sheffield Uni. Made a lot of ground there. Really well done. Good scrum. Now they have space to drive into. Good okay, tackle great there. catch there from Tams in. Good tackle there. And Tams Shilota comes away with the ball back with she Sheffield Hallow. She needs to make it to ground at this point. Thank you. Well done for making it to ground. Makes it to ground. Kilkenny Kuhini just trying to look to get the ball. She's got it out now, but it's capitalised upon. Really well dealt with by Whitaker there, but oh, still back made through the ground. with Sheffield Hallam. Bit of a scrappy period at the stage of the game with everything on the line. Here they go, Sheffield Hallam nice towards from the try line there. once again. Good try there from, from Ellis Clark over on that far side. Really well dealt with by Sheffield Hallam, uh, University of Sheffield on that far side. But a penalty goes the way wow. of Sheffield Hallam in dangerous territory to say the least. What, would you, what would you do in this situation here, Jemima, apart from would you, would you go for the left or would you try and switch the play? Uh, it's quite difficult to do so and this is just University Rugby. I'd go for the left and then switch the play on the right. Back to Shiloh. But again, who look finds at that. The gap, does really well, good attempt. Well, well defended by the University of Sheffield. Very there. Megan, good attempt Megan there. Megan Whitaker in partnership with Lucy Davies both intercepting that one and it's back with the University of Sheffield, who looked to clear it. Not well cleared by Megan Whitaker. Here it comes back then Get to the captain, ball. Robin McLaren, well who's Robin. looking to run good at the try line again. Very good step there from Robin. Well dealt with, though, by she Hannah She needs some Brewer. help there. She just needs some help to secure the ball, because this is how we're losing the ball, holding on. Well dealt with on that far side, on near side, by Hannah Probert, and a penalty goes the way. Well attempted, but she was on her own pretty much. Of Sheffield. 55 minutes gone, then 25 minutes left to go. Uh, 25 minutes left to go in this match. They're going to kick. Now some respite for the University of Sheffield. Good catch in the crowd, to say the least, from, from the Haaland fans there. But a, a good kick nonetheless from the University of Sheffield. With it for a line out now. Interesting place to have a line out here. Jemima, what, what, what do you think will happen here with Sheffield Haaland? It's probably their first line out of the game, would you say? No, oh, it's not. Oh, no. <laughs> it's the of yeah, They kicked it out. They're probably going to go for the back pod again. And again, if it's an overspill, we've got that last person to try and catch it. What Hallam need to do is just try and get get into their face and get into their faces and really try and tackle them as quickly as possible as they do end up getting the ball. Line up then for the University. Good of attempt there from Sheffield Hallam. Nice one, Elspeth. Great Stole the ball there very well. Offloaded great, it to great 22. Ward, Olivia Watson then trying to bully her way through. University of Sheffield defence, but very well dealt with. Well on done by Here Sophie, 25 Sophie, there. Sophie Mould, Holland, ah, really, really well. ball lost. Ball, Couple ball lost. fun balls Back from both then teams. to Jen Selim, who's been quite a quiet figure in this game so far, but she's been doing her best. This the usual. It looks like it might be a slight injury concern for Hallam on this near side here. We'll get some more on that. And just ah, a, she's a slight limb. She'll be all right. <laughs> Back then with the University of Sheffield on the far side, left -hand looking to side. switch the play. Slight fumble there and really well dealt Good with tackles. there from Tabby Groves, the left winger on the far side. A determined challenge there, stopped any any momentum coming out Very well of their, keep their the last space 20. Hallam. Still trying to get themselves out of that area then. Back to the University of Sheffield. Kick. Good always kick, always Good kick. kick up the field from Bentley. Now can, can Mucklow deal? with the bobbling ball, just oh, about. just about, just good about. job, really good job. That was crucial there, wasn't it? Now it's with oh, Holland. Very well, well done. Lovely oh, there, good run. Ooh, high tackle nearly there. there. But she does well to get herself back in really there. Really good fantastic, attempt. Fantastic challenge by Amy Lomar, nice grasp that, and out of touch there. 
in, in, to, uh, in, into touch. Very good play there for number 25. But uh, a yellow card, I think, has been brandished actually. 21, Amy Lowe, you're right. It's a high tackle. And again, it's a woman advantage to Sheffield Hallam. We saw how it went yeah. last time. This is a crucial period. Very, now. very crucial. Let's see if Hallam take advantage of this opportunity. If I've been one of Hallam, of uni, sorry, being one man down. Good use of the empty space on the left hand side. Here Lovely break, needs to run forward, run McLeod. forward. Here's Tabby Groves looking for the try. Fantastic last oh. grasp challenge there from the University. Well done, ball kept there by Sheffield. Captain. Really well done by Robin McLaren there for Sheffield Hallam University. Can they keep up the pressure? They get they inches to run forward ever for so me. close. Here it comes on this side. Good ball there on the left hand side. There's space here for Mole Holland. Can she go through? Good tackle by Hannah Prober to bring it back. But forward, here goes John. Forward, 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 forward. Pressure though, good try, nice attempt. Some players started to struggle in the conditions, and it's away. Forward pass from the universe from Sheffield Hallam University, much to the dismay of the crowd. It looked like Sean Judd was about to go over until he was awarded as a forward pass by the referee. It will be a scrum to the University of Sheffield, but again, Hallam really dangerous and looking to utilise that extra man. 100% it's in their territory, so they're, they're closer to the Sheffield Union try line, so they really need to make the most of this and really get their adrenaline pumping in this scrum and try and get that ball. Just under 60 minutes then on the clock. Sheffield from University 7. University of Sheffield 24, but that hasn't reflected the uh, performance of both teams in the second half. Just good yet scrum, scrum, though. University of Sheffield. Oh, good tackle the there from Hallam. Really good. Great tackle. Where's the ball? Really good steal as they get the ball and it comes out there with Bridget Jones Crabtree of the University of Sheffield. In fact, Hallam have got Hallam it. Hallam have here. the ball. Great here, steal here there. Goes Bronwyn Hall to go over the line. Ellsworth Ward is there to help her out as well. So too is Kilheaney. Good from well number Olivia, 22. Olivia great Olivia attempt. Watson trying to get over. Can't find anything at this stage. Back from Kilheaney. Over on his far side to Shiloto. McLaren on the ball there. Over to Ovo to Mucklow. Mucklow has Groves on her left hand side. Can Mucklow go by herself? Very well defended. Really well on that Very point. well defended by the University of Sheffield. If there was an offload there, why was she not giving the offload away there? I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes you don't really know how close to the, the sideline you're at. And sometimes. It happens, it happens. It's hot, it's been a long game, but an offload would have been really nice at that point there. University of Sheffield just having to uh, take a few chances and take a few hits here. Sheffield Hallam really putting on the pressure now. 20 minutes left to go in the women's varsity ones at a rugby union final. Seven, University of Sheffield 24, the points going to the black and gold at this stage. As it stands, it is University of Sheffield 5.5. Sheffield Hallam 3.5 in varsity points. Back it goes then out. Kick. University Sheffield looking for the kick from Bentley. Same uh, old. An okay kick well, there. Really, Ooh, really good. well done. Now there's a time to capitalise. McLaren is urging John towards the time. Great Here attempt. Here goes John Judge. But a fantastic challenge again by Hannah Prober. She's had a miraculous She's game. Very, very well done. Good at running, good at tackling. Hannah Prober, two tries. But more importantly, two Try stopping tackles yeah, very well done in this game so far on this near side. And 14 women, University of Sheffield, are trying to out hold the uh, barrage of attack from Sheffield Allen University here to line out on this near side about five meters from the try line. Can Allen get that elusive second try? There, oh, good steal oh, there. Who is that? A steal there from the it's back though, and oh, it's over the try line. Try there for number Charlotte, eight. Charlotte Charlotte Hancock Hancock goes over the good line. Job. Sheffield and Hallam University make their one woman advantage. Cal once get a cracking steal for Ellis Clark at the line. Off offloads it to Charlotte Hancock, who gap, utilizes the gap and gets them another try. Sheffield and Hallam. It's now 12 24. Game on, Jemima. Honestly, like I said, you just got to be right place at the right time. Fantastic try. Fantastic try there from University of Sheffield. From Sheffield Hallam University, 12 24. Now looking for this conversion is Lucy Kilheaney. Can she make it two from two? It's exactly the same position as it was, isn't it? She seems to have quite good kicks there for, uh, for these conversions. Let's see if she can make it. Kilheaney looking to 
try and get to that try again. Uh, conversion again. Just well wide, attempted. Wide. A really int good attempt, but that's uh, brought Sheffield Hallam back into the game. Two tries for them now. Also on 12 24. Machine, Charlotte Hancock, 12. Sheffield Hallam, 12. University of Sheffield, 24. With 17 minutes left on the clock. I must say, really good. Well, well done from Sheffield University because they they were in that territory for quite a long time and they kept their cool for most of it. Really good, good tackles and stopping the ball from getting onto the try line there. Just how crucial could the the discipline of University of Sheffield be key here, especially with the yellow card, two yellow cards. It's They've everything. Had. Yeah, it's everything at the moment. They they can't risk getting another yellow card at this point. You know, two yellow cards is enough. Also, um, it's again like little mistakes that got that try. There was a little gap there which wasn't filled, which meant that the number eight could get into that space. So, you know, again, like I said, I think, is it the number 11 on their team was getting quite a few of a try and um, try stopping um, tackles there. So she's not there. We need another person in there to, to stop the tackles, to stop, stop the tries as well. And a pro bit there playing a blind for the University of Sheffield. We're still down to 14 women. Amy Lomath currently sitting out in the sin bin for a high tackle as they get under Great they catch there. Cracking catch there. Great Shepard run as well. The momentum certainly has swung in favour of the Maroon here at Sports Park. 12 at 24, just over 15 minutes left of the game. Will the University of Sheffield be able to hold out? But Hallam are coming at them. There's the try scorer, Charlotte Hancock, trying to get them up the field Sheffield there. Sheffield Uni are going really quick to them rocks. They're a really good job of Sheffield Uni there. Elspeth Ward looking to drive her way through. University of Sheffield need to steal the ball. They're trying to get her down. They've got her down just in the end. A good kick out into touch. Good kick out into touch. A good catch again in the crowd there. Line out will be for the University of Sheffield. Good game as well for Lucy Kilheeny. Yeah. There have been two, two very good performances from two very um, well sought out sides. Very, very much. Only 12 points in it then. Be thrilling climax here at Hallam Sports Park. And I think it'll be a bit of an anti climax if somehow if it manages to finish in a draw. Line out for the Honestly. University. It could be anything. Line out for the University of Sheffield. Then Megan Hugas to take this. Now. Let's see if they do the same thing again. Back pod. We're just getting a, a new score Ooh, update. Lovely. New score update in the varsity scores. Unilov have taken another point. So it's Hallam 3.5. University of Sheffield 6.5. It finished 11 6 to Unilov of Sheffield men's in the ultimate frisbee. As Unit of Sheffield Hallam. Good steal from Megan Whitaker there, but well driven back from Sheffield Hallam's Kennedy Nuts all there to get him in the half. That was a crucial tackle. Very good tackle there. Up they go then, back just inside Sheffield Holmes University half. The University of Sheffield looking to drive their way Good forward. Tackle Good tackle by Kennedy there. again. Good tackle by Nuttall, but rolling her way back into University of Sheffield's half. Really good ruck so far. Both the scrums and rucks have been impressive in this match. Just under 15 minutes left on the clock. A try here from the University of Sheffield. Surely Great use of the charge. kick again. Good Lovely kick from speed Emily from Bentley. the side Here there. comes Hannah Probert to challenge the captain, Robin McLaren. Slight fumble, but she's done incredibly well Saved there. And gets down there. this near down side. The out side. of touch, though. Into touch, though. Into touch, Robin McLaren there. Look, really good attempt, though. Looked a really close decision there. She did really well to handle that ball in there. That's Very a difficult much. one. And the University of Sheffield putting their kicks to the test and Sheffield's Hallam's defence has handled the metal so far. Just to re reiterate, 6.5, 3.5 in Varsity 2019 now after a uni of victory in the men's frisbee. Line out for the University of Sheffield on this side then, taken by Megan Hughes again. Impressive at the line out so far, the black and gold and again very impressive. Just a drop of the ball there but to no avail and it's a penalty for Sheffield Hallam for a knock-on. In fact, this could be a, it's a bit sloppy there from the University of Sheffield, would you say? And it's just a little bit, but I must say they're really good at getting back 10, 10 yards really quickly, which is really good for them. Just awaiting for the restart then as they get underway. Good drive there from Bronwyn Hall. Bron Bronwyn Hall has had a really good game as well as they get trying to utilize Great this left hand there. side then. Good defence there from Harriet Burniston did really well there for the University of Sheffield. Back it goes then to nice on the far from side. Courtney looking, there. looking to switch the play. There's a lot of space out on that far side and, and the tries have come through some of that area so far. Away it goes from Nuttall. Good Ooh, inception good. though, knock on 
by the University of Sheffield Protecting Old Miners in that situation. They're knocking from Lucy Davies, who is back on after a couple of uh, inch changes due to a couple of minor niggles and injuries. Just over 12 minutes left then of what has been a classic fixture. Would you say Hallam have certainly been on top in this second half? Yeah, very much so. I think they got the mojo back after the second half and the first try came through and they, they were just really on it and they think they're still on it. Just little mistakes now we need to clear up. And uh, yeah, oh, ball stolen there by Sheffield Uni. Good, good run. Good steal on that far side there from the University of Sheffield. Can they try and oh, cancel that? What happened back there? Back to Hallam. Like, there's been a few ball steals this yeah, game, hasn't there? Is, it, is, that, is that a sight we usually see in rugby? Because I, I rarely uh, see ball steals. Not, so, not as much as there have been today. So it's usually stolen in rocks, but they just seem to be going back and forth quite a little bit. Ball then bobbling around in the Sheffield University half. Ooh, they don't really want that and a knock on there. Good try there. Uh, advantage University, uh, Sheffield Hallam at this stage. I think they're going to bring that back for the penalty in a minute. Again, it's been really difficult getting hold of the balls, hasn't it? Very much so. It's just been going from left to right, from one team to the other, from one team to the other. Let's see if we can... Oh, slight injury there. Slight uh, break in injury there. That's 14 for University of Sheffield. Tory Wensley, who's had a, a determined game that far. So it'll be a scrum to Sheffield Hallam University as the sun goes in for about the first time this day. <laughs> uh, a little bit of a nice respite from a, it's been quite a warm gantry to say very, the least. Very, very warm. Scrum over on the far side then for Sheffield Hallam University. Can they make this count and make this capitalise here? Good scrum so far. Just a it's penalty. Slightly too powerful there from Sheffield University. Too penalty. powerful. It's a penalty to Sheffield Hallam. Good run there from Bromwyn. But just seeing it's back on the pitch is Amy Lomath. She's back on the pitch after her sin bin for a high tackle. So advantage lost. Well done, Sheffield Hallam there. at she this stage. The ball. Back Good sidestep. Good sidestep to Mucklow. Can they get the ball back? Good tackle there from University Sheffield to bring Hallam back from where they were at this stage. Here's Judd on the ball now. She's been influential on this right side to McLaren, the captain, who's going to look Good to hand run. Though. Hand she does steps. Hannah Prober, but can't sidestep. The three Sheffield Hallam defenders headlined by Jen Selim in the centre there, away from there. As they come now with 10 minutes left to go in the Women's Rugby Union Varsity Ones. Sheffield Hallam back with the ball. They've controlled this second half so far. Back with Bronwyn Hall looking to carry away through the defence. Back to Kilheen. He's looking for it there. Mucklow Slight looks for the knock on, but it come off her leg. Referee indicate come off her leg. So fine at that stage. Mucklow. Sheffield Union really trying to get that, that the, the ball back really, really well. They've made impressive ground here without actually carrying the yep. ball, haven't they? So it's like it's going to be like more than fast. And in they've fact, got the they've ball. got the ball back in that they've stage. The ball. Could be crucial at this stage of the game for the University of Sheffield to keep hold of the ball. It's a penalty to the black and gold as well. Will they make this count in a minute as they bring the ruck over? Just to reiterate, yes, University of Sheffield are back to full strength. England back on Attempted the pitch. kick there, not so well, but good try. Penalty for yeah. the University of Sheffield, most likely to be at this stage going to be a scrum, I believe. Maybe, maybe not. No. Referee indicates the scrum and uh, Sheffield University have attempted against it. It's with captain Emily Bentley at this stage. Goes for the kick into touch. Yeah. Brings them up the pitch nicely. That doesn't it at a time really where nice. they need to really hold out with given the time left in Hallam's half, don't they? Very much so. If you just keep a hold of the ball at this point, University, you've got this what, nine minutes, eight minutes left. Black and gold fans, every every fan in fine voice here. Men's twos, of course, going off at the same time as well. Healthy crowd over there as well. Coverage of that will come shortly. But here it is, a line out with the University of Sheffield. Speaking of Megan Hughes on that oh, far we're side. We're going to go for the front part. Again, that was really well front done. Gone over there, Slightly though. over. Still the way back okay. to Sheffield Hallam, though. And now's a chance for them to try and get up the pitch. Really well dealt with, though, by the University of Sheffield, who again seems to be making ground even when they don't have the ball. Good kick Good up the field there from Kennedy. Nuttall. That's a dangerous kick indeed. And well, Slight fumble well there. Well dealt with by Pro, but just about in the end. But here Solid. comes Robin McLaren. Now comes the chance to try and get that attack there. It's been ever so difficult to catch the ball here today. It's Adam Sports Park. Both teams are taking advantage of it. 
at this stage. Back it goes then over to Mulholland. Can Mulholland find the gap? She came very close there, but really well dealt with on that good side by Hughes. There. Good offload by the Maroon of Sheffield Hallam with Ellsworth Ward, who goes down. Back with Kilheeney now out of the ruck. Can he Here more? goes Nuttall on that far side. Let's see if back he gets to, down. Back to Mucklow. Really well dealt with that side. Tabby Groves, the door was slammed shut in her face there by the University of Sheffield and lose no ground at that stage. Just over oh, seven minutes ago. Great, there. great ball steal there. Great ball steal there, but tackle. really good tackle there. Back on her, her, back on her feet. She's done Olivia Watson, and they go over the try line for the University of Sheffield. Tory Wensley with a fine burst of pace there. Silences the Hallam crowd. A really against the run of play. A fantastic ball steal and burst of pace from Tory Wensley. And the University of Sheffield have all but killed the game off. Sheffield Hallam, Uni 12. University Sheffield 29, Jimmy, I mean, we did not expect that at that all. That was a lovely run again. I mean, with the little mistakes, little mistakes, open doors, doors open. She runs straight through it into the try line. Really good speed, really good endurance. Very well done from Sheffield Uni. It seems as though these little mistakes have been really costly for yep. the Maroon and Sheffield Hallam in this game so far. Tori Wensley getting her name on the score sheet then. That's five tries for the University of Sheffield. Difficult position for the conversion for uh, for, Emma, uh, for Bridget Jones Crabtree very difficult there but 29-12 is that game over for you? With six and a half minutes left it's difficult isn't it's it? It's difficult to tell maybe Alan can get some back but at this point it looks like the winners go to Sheffield Uni black and gold just waiting it looks like Kennedy Nuttall's down on that stage good efforts by Emily Crabtree there but falls short of the post but that makes it Sheffield Hallam University 12 University of Sheffield 29 Curti of a Tory Wensley try and it all could be game over and another point for the University of Sheffield of course at the minute currently without adding this point it's 3.5 6.5 to the black and gold. We're looking for their seventh straight varsity trophy win. Injury for Kennedy Nuttall on the far side. Let's hope it's uh, not too serious. We've got two injuries actually for Sheffield Hallen. Lucky Nuttall is sitting up now. She may just be a little bit winded from that. So as we come towards the final stages of the game, an enjoyable game, but really, would you say the University of Sheffield have been more clinical most? Yes, to a certain extent, yes. They've used what their advantages are to their benefit. They've got speed, uh, agility as well, and they're winning because of it. So definitely they've had a couple of switches in there, a couple of technical switches, which were really nice to see, actually, for University Rugby. Really well done to University of Sheffield. Black and gold. James C. Nuttall will be uh, limping off the field. We wish her well and hope it's nothing too serious. But I'll have to uh, agree with you there as we wait for the restart. The possession definitely has been controlled by Hallam. They've been the better yeah. team in this second half. But yeah. again, the pace on the right wings and left one of Wensley and Prober, who's been a standout player in this game, Very have much really so. turned this game in the black and gold favour. Yeah. He's just waited for a slight line. Now we have another injury uh, over on the far side as well. So we'll just take some time to reflect on the game. Who's been your standout player so far, John? Um, it's tough, isn't it? I must say for Sheffield, ooh, overall, for Sheffield Halle, I mean for Sheffield Uni, I must say number 11, the captain, them two have been incredible, really good runs and stopping the tries on the left hand side and the right hand side, sorry, from number 11. From Hallam's side, it's got to be Tamsin for me. Tamsin made some really good breaks, amazing runs and scored a try. Really Tam good. Tamsin Shiloto got that first try, she's made some amazing runs, some dangerous runs as well. Just We'll get confirmation of who's uh, injured over on the far side in a minute but definitely Hannah Prover has been an absolute standout for the University of Sheffield she seems yep. to have been a, a bit of a class above uh, at this stage of the match we just wait for uh, the restart a bit of a, a brief delay of course after this we'll be going for coverage to the uh, women's f uh, men's football twos over in Harlem and Junior which seems to be really well supported at this stage then 12, 29, two tries for Hannah Probert for the University of Sheffield, one for Tory Wednesday, one for Charlotte Johnson, of course. The other one we have was a bit, bit of a muddle, a bit of a, a, a ruck over, of course. Looks like the points going black and gold just here. It's a great break. If you're in that Hallam huddle now, what would you be saying to your players? 
Uh, I'll just be telling them to keep their heads on, just remind them the game's not over just yet, uh, and just to do what we do, what do what they do best. You know, work to their strengths, keep that defensive line nice and strong, so that University of Sheffield can't get through. If I was on the University of Sheffield side, on the other hand, I would tell them also just to keep possession of the ball. Um, and just watch the defensive line and if they can maybe get another try scored in that time frame um, be really nice to have another try there from them that'd be very very nice from them but yeah just defensive line both sides really imp yeah, really impressive defensive line so far bar the two yellow cards have been really well discipline as well there's a, a, not a lot of gaps have appeared have they but when there has been the university of sheffield especially have taken advantage of it haven't yeah it's very true they've taken advantage of the gaps and like i said use their strengths to their to their abilities to their strengths to their speed from number 11 number 15 incredible incredible indeed see just more than over six minutes left of the game to go when we do get the restart sheffield hallam been very much so impressive in this first in this second half second half performance there 12 summing up so there's much 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 credit for them there as well tabby groves has been interesting one on the left hand side as well but in general on this game the left hand side for both teams yeah. seems to be their ultimate weakness very much so it's just the type of side you know you've only got the wing on that side usually one or two players defending that side because it's usually more congested in the mid, mid, middle of the pitch there but yeah really really dangerous territories on both sides uh, while well, the injury does look slightly concerning, she is up on her feet and uh, is being carried off the pitch. So I hope whoever's the injured player will get some confirmation for you in a minute. Is going to get well soon. Two injuries for the Sheffield Hallam, uh, Hallam Uni when they didn't really need an injury just there. It looks like it might be uh, Olivia Mucklow, I think, maybe. We'll, we'll, we'll get some more confirmation. That was like a nasty looking injury, but the players are, are getting ready to see out the uh, remainder of the remainder of the match we hope both players who are now nursing a slight injury are okay so i think it was uh, charlie Mucklow who did yeah it looks like injury. it was charlie so it looks like has uh, been replaced it looks like robin mclaren's now going to play that fullback role for the final bit good of the kick game. there Back actually to sheffield that was interestingly a good kick nice taking, and low taking advantage of the surface weren't they in fact it's not charlie Mucklow as well but we'll get confirmation of who, who it is in a minute. Oh, it goes there. Good, good, good there. cracking tackle there on on Lydia. Good Corrin. steal there. Oh, attempted steal from the side. Penalty for the University of Sheffield. Just when they need a situation to be taken by Bridget Jones at Crabtree. Come out of it then. 74 minutes on the clock. Bentley looking good to get kick this there. into touch. Good kick. Lovely up kick. Very territory. lovely kick. I think that's the first drop catch we've had in the crowd as well, <laughs> which is the not not nice to see there. Sheffield Hallam University 12, University of Sheffield 25, uh, 29. Five interchanges being made, including going oh, off wow. there. Salim and Corin going off there. The locks and the black flank is going off. Hannah Probert is also going off. She's had a fantastic game at left wing and rightly deserves a rest, doesn't she? She's yep, put indeed. effort in. Also off as well, Taylor Coates as well. Also kind of coming on. 19, Rebecca Kemmel making an appearance. Good uh, drops there, but really well snuffed out on by Sheffield Hallam University. Ooh, looking to steal the ball. They've stole there. the ball. Good, good steal there by number 19. Good steal there from oh, Meg, Meg Ayres. Ayres. Does really well then. Back to Ellis Clark. Now good attempt to break the line there. Well run at the University of Sheffield defence. Back with, it, with, with Ellis Clark. How's it goes to Hannah Courtney. Can she get it out then? Lot of space on that far side looking to give it to Shiloto forward pass there from Charlie Marklow. Very much forward there. I don't very think there's any, any, any deliberations about that one. Not been the chance though. They're really giving it to from to uh, Stiloto. Of course, it's been a very much an integral figure very, as part very. of the Sheffield Hallam University's rugby team. Less than five minutes to go then on the women's rugby union ones. Jemima, who would your man on the match be in this game if you say from, from either side? From either side, you'd be tight between Tamsin and the number 11, Hannah I'd say. Probert. Hannah Prober. Hannah Prober. Both of them have just been incredible. I think the two tries for Prober and the winning score, a major edge in favour 
of Hannah Pro, but she's been very influential as well with the two try scoring, uh, save, try saving tackles yeah. on this near side. They were crucial to keeping University of Sheffield's lead in front. Indeed. Back it goes then to uh, Emily Bentley, the captain. Now a chance for the University of Sheffield to try and make some ground up. Maybe they just want to hold the ball for the last four minutes. Maybe. That is that is also a technique that they could use because, you know, if they hold the ball, they can still get to win. Uh, but maybe they want another try. You never know. Just a slight, slight hiccup there. There's a bumblebee just in front of us there. <laughs> I think we know, we know what you're scared of now. Uh, back it goes then to University uh, Sheffield Hallam University with try scorer Charlotte Hancock. Did really well there. Now it comes back to Steph Wilder trying to pull her in. way through the field. Cannot do it just about. She gets it back though to Ellis Clark. Chance for Mo Holland to now run at the defence. She's made a couple of good runs as she well, holding the ball, indeed, must say. Number 25. Good the steal there really from the side it. there. She's not getting through there. Good good defensive play from Freya Entwistle. Does really well there. Now Charles Say number 25 again. again. She's really doing, well she's done. She's the gaps there. Ball oh, pops out lost and back for the University of Sheffield. And an advantage for them as well. Over just under three minutes left on the clock here the point good attempted sneak from the side from Sheffield University there back it goes then for University of Sheffield though we looking out of this situation it's going to come back to Whitaker. back it comes Bentley looking for the kick, kick on oh. the field now it comes back to McLaren who's playing that full back role for the time being good Robin good got the she, ball. she was definitely not getting out of the way of her own player then good McLaren side step there in and out of the Sheffield defence but there's about eight of the University of Sheffield defence on her at that stage back out it goes to Wielden can she find her way through again fantastic discipline defence from the University of Fumble Sheffield again. from Mucklow here it is Sloto but a penalty to the University of Sheffield. We uh, saw an incident there where Robin McLaren ran into her own teammate, Abby Groves, <laughs> who's now playing right wing at this stage. Do you reckon uh, McLaren's playing at uh, fullback at this stage? Should that decision maybe be made a little bit earlier, or is just that how it goes sometimes? As captain, she needs to be really in the midst of the game, so I can understand why she hasn't been put there earlier. You know, being captain, you've just kind of got to work with every single one of the players and as fullback it's really hard to do that but she's doing really well at fullback I must say. Out back to Whitaker here it goes to Bentley looking for the run through ball dropped there penalty for Sheffield Hallam University with just over one minute left. Good go. take there that's exactly what I would back, have done back in nice ground there. there. Quick airs, looking to try and bust her way through the thing. She can't do anything there, though. Back to Morgan. Number 25. No, she can't. Really well defended by the University of Sheffield. Back it comes to Wield, and she's going to try and find her way through. Is there a gap available for Sheffield Hallam University? It seems, like they're, there. Good it seems like they're all off their legs at the minute. They're incredibly tired out there, and it's just taking the edge a bit of the pace of the game back to Stiloto looking to go through here comes Sean Judd who has swapped wings with Tabby Gross she can't find a way through either in exploiting Sheffield University defence and it's a penalty for the University of Sheffield much to their delight I think they know the game very nearly over yeah. just just over 30 seconds left of the match and it'll be to the University of Sheffield advantage with their penalty they do going up for it. Going keep, runs, huh? keep going for the final 20 seconds the point is heading to the black and gold side here it will make it 3.5 7.5 to the University of Sheffield what has been a comprehensive good steal, good steal back Sheffield, here, it goes, here it goes to Wielden she hasn't been able to find her way through in this game so far back to Clark here it is good with Meg from Ayers can Meg Ayers try and get through it it's the 80 minute mark goes over this could be any minute now it could be the full-time whistle back to Mucklow back to Mucklow good defense there by the University of Sheffield can Mucklow find it through the ball is held up and I think it is stolen it will be a penalty to the University of Sheffield stolen ball and the advantage to the black and gold anytime now the whistle will be going looking to take that advantage again trying to they're trying to finish finish off here, aren't they? They're trying to finish off with a try, I think. Over 30 seconds already over in the match as it stands. The referee has a look at her watch. This is really surprising. In the past have been known to just kick the ball out, but they're really trying to go for Any it. Any minute now, Bentley up the field to Good Ang hands Ang Ang there from Robin Very clear. Very well done by Robin McLaren. Can she find a Ooh, little bit of run and there. Try for the Good challenge there from the University of Sheffield. They're looking to get the ball over there. Ooh, a little bit of a kick out. A bit of a kick out there from Charlotte Johnston. Not what we want to see. 
from there and the fans spotted that as well, not nice to see. Great attempt there from Seth London. Sour spots on the end of the game. Don't need to see anything like kicking out in rugby. Show a judge with the ball on the far side. Can she get through? Over it comes then. Can you rush it all? Penalty to Sheffield Hallam. Do they have one more time to try and get? That seems a try. very interesting last couple of minutes of this game, isn't it? Interesting. It looked like they could have been ascending off there. It looked like Charlotte Johnson kicks out of one of the Hallam players on the ground. Not, not a good thing to do, even if it, you are winning. Honestly. To still 29-12 to the black and gold then. One minute over the time already. Can Hallam restore some pride here and get Let's another see. try? Back to Mucklow. Here's Stiloto, the try, one of the tries. Oh, great. The ball. Out to Judd. Can Judd find Tabby Groves who oh, knocks it on. He knocks it on. It's back with the University of Sheffield. Good tackle there by Ackland. Out of play. It goes, but it's a penalty to the University of Sheffield. And the referee blows the final whistle. That's it, they've come to Hallam Park, Hallam Shift Park, and they've conquered the University of Sheffield with some fantastic tries from Hannah Probert, Tory Wensley, Charlotte Johnston. It's been a comprehensive performance. Hallam by no means were disgraced with their performance. They are mobbed by their adoring fans. It's finished here at Hallam Shift Sports Park, Sheffield Hallam 12. University of Sheffield 29. The point goes to the black and gold as we hand back to our presenter, Jimena. OK, thank you very much for that, Matt and Jemima. We are down at the pitch. It's quite loud. The fans are quite rowdy because Uni of Sheffield have just won the point. Um, it ended 29-12 yeah. to Uni of, um, which takes the overall varsity score now to 7.5 for Uni of, to yeah. 4.5 for Sheffield Hallam. Yeah. I, I thought that was a really amazing match. Hallam came off really strongly, if you guys agree. Yep. They yeah. started off really strongly, but then I felt they got really tired towards the end of the match. Uh, but I guess it's natural, it was a really hot day as well. Um, I absolutely love, I think Uni have kept, off, uh, kept up their entire defence, their skills, like entire, entirety of the game and I was really impressed the way they played. To be honest, Uni of Sheffield managed the game really well yeah, when Hallam did. were getting back into it. And Hallam started off the game really well, yeah. the second half, and they scored two tries and converted one of them. Yeah. And there were chances they could get back into the game, yeah. but then Uni of defended for their lives back again. Yeah, this is, um, this is a really interesting game because last year, Hamina, correct me if I'm wrong, last year the points were to Harlem, 34 yep. points to five, is yeah. that right? Yeah, yeah. That was. it's a really big turnover because this year, um, Uni of has actually won. Uh, I didn't quite expect that. What were you expecting? Were uh, you expecting that? Uh, in the Bucks League, Hallam faced Uni of once. That was the second team of Uni of, but Hallam won 73 nil. Yeah. So this is, a massive confidence booster for the Uni of Girls, to yeah, be honest. Yeah, that's really, yeah. And I think it's like it's like we've said, Hallam came out really strong at the beginning they of did. that second half. They did. Did, we, did you guys think at a point that actually Hallam might actually come back and win this? Yeah, as I was saying in the first half, I actually did think Team Hallam was going to come back and win this because they came back so strongly. I was quite certain they were going to win this match. What do you think? Uh, to be honest, even though Hallam came back into the game, I think... Yeah. When they came back, when they scored the second try, there was not much time remaining, and yeah. Uni of started yeah. managing the game by that yeah. point of time. So they were really skilled. Yeah, well. yeah, they were really, really skilled. Yeah, the fans are getting really loud as well. Yeah, I think everybody's yeah. quite. Yeah, the the Hallam fans are starting to kick off a little bit with the <laughs> Uni of walking past. Um, yeah. But you know, it's all friendly rivalry. It's all really, so friendly. Rivalry. Winning and losing is a part of the game. To exactly. Be honest. And exactly. No, I think at no point of time any student should take it over the line. That's what good sports, sports, sportsmanship. Sorry. Yeah. Exactly. About. Yeah. And I think the fans here today have been quite good, you know. They've been cheering on their teams. They they've been, been. Do you think they've been a good source of support for I the, thought, the players? I think every time you play sports, you, your fans are the most important part. They definitely give you the support, the encouragement that you need to push on through the game. The game's very tiring. You definitely want to hear people actually supporting what you're actually playing for. So I thought the fans were doing amazing. And they still are till today, till right now, actually. What do you think? Uh, I mean, like, Sheffield Varsity is all about the students of Sheffield. Yeah. There is over 38,000 students in yeah. Sheffield. And they, if they don't support the teams, they won't play. They won't have the inspiration. And yeah. it is all about celebration, the celebration of yeah. the universities. That's true. 
And um, I believe we now have a interview down at the pitch with the captain of Uni of. So we'll yeah. hand over to Lucas. I am here with Emily Bentley, captain of the University of Sheffield's team. Emily. Well done, congratulations. How do you feel about winning tonight? Thanks, uh, it's absolutely amazing. We haven't won in the past few years. A few years ago we had a draw and then last year we had a loss. So to come away with a good clear five, ten points has been really good today and I'm really proud of the girls. We've worked really hard all season for this one game and yeah, our efforts have paid off. Emily, talk us through how the match went from your perspective tonight. Um, well, so they're the league below, but we weren't expecting an easy game and they put up a really good fight. It was a tough game all the way to the end. Their attack was really good, their defence was good. We were just quite good with our breakthroughs, I think, but a good effort from both sides today. And Emily, how much effort went into preparing for this match today? Uh, so we've been running a boot camp for the past two weeks through selection, put the girls through hard at work, and then this weekend was a bit easier to make sure they weren't too tired. The weather's been really good for us today, so we've put a lot of prep in for the weather, and yeah, it just came out with a good result. Emily, how did you find the atmosphere today at Hallam Sports Park? How was it? Yeah, the atmosphere's been great from both sides. There's been a lot of Hallam cheers, a lot of Sheffield Uni cheers. Um, it's all been really positive as well. And uh, yeah, that's actually all for me. Thank you very much for being here. Um, good luck with the rest of our city and um, back to Hermena now. For okay, thank you very much for that, Lucas. Um, I'm back with Yash and I'm so sorry, I've just forgot your Sartak. There we go. Um, we're here to discuss Uniov's performance following yeah. that. How do you guys think Uniov went? I thought it was amazing. Um, I, I'm quite, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I didn't know what to expect when I was coming, I was coming to this match. I thought Uniof and it, I thought it was going to be as last year's again because Holland yeah. usually does win um, the women's rugby. I was really impressed with their performance. They kept it out throughout the match. It was very consistent, very skillful. They made sure they took advantage of everything Holland did, everything Holland lost, they uh, took advantage of If you look at the game, so there were five tries by University of Sheffield and yep. Three of them were from defensive mistakes of Sheffield Hallam and the last one was a defensive mistake on the blind side, yeah. which you shouldn't allow in rugby union. And I think University of Sheffield managed the game really well mm. uh, ever since they scored the very first try. Yeah, and so did. it is a deserved win for them. Because, yeah. I mean, coming into it, I was a little bit worried for Uniov because in Bucks this year, they've not had a great run. They've, lost, they've won only four out of their ten matches. Yes. I believe they're bottom of their league table. Yeah. So I think... They probably felt quite a lot of pressure to come out here and perform today, um, but I, th I think they did quite well actually. Yeah, I thought they did really well and I, I, I'm pretty sure they had a lot of pressure I on them. Hallam. Yeah, Hallam. exactly. And I, I think that you should have expected University of Sheffield to bounce back at some point of time because yeah, yeah. Uh, University of Sheffield have won six varsities back to back and they are chasing the seventh one, which is the 21st varsity in Sheff yeah. Sheffield. So. I think a good performance from them and that is a very deserved result. Yeah, because yeah. I think also, especially today, they they were quick on their feet, they took their chances and they also had very strong defence because, oh, as we yes. said, they made some fumbles but whenever they made a fumble and Hallam got the ball, they were really quick to keep defending and stop. Yeah. And I think part of it was when Hallam came back in quite strong at the beginning of the second half, Yeah, yeah. I they... A try seemed inevitable for Hallam, <laughs> but they really kept it going. They kept like trying to push them back. I mean, and I Hallam think were dominating plays. Like yeah. when they scored the second try, Hallam dominated 23 phases of play. But again, the, they, they dominated the game very much. Like around you can say 60 yeah. or 70 percent of the game, yeah, and they had the position. But Uniof again had a very good defense, and it showed again. And we can say in the box, even though they were last, they played in a higher division and the skills were evident. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I believe we're going to go back down to Lucas on the field now um, for an interview with the Hallam team captain. I am now joined by Robin McLaren, captain for Team Hallam here. Um, unfortunately, you've lost the match tonight. How does it feel? Um, not great. It's not what we wanted, but we weren't really prepared for all those kicks today. And if we would have brought it like we did in the second half, I guess it might have been a different score. So Robin, talk us through how the match went from your perspective tonight. Um, it was a very heavy forward game from Uniov and I guess we didn't expect that. We were planning to use our wings a lot and we didn't get a chance to pull it out to them. And uh, 
So how did you find the match overall then? And how much effort went into preparing for this match tonight? Tons of effort. We started um, training about eight weeks ago. We've been doing like high intensity training. Um, and we didn't really expect the weather, I guess. So it made it a lot harder, especially that first half. I guess the second half we got a second wind and we just really wanted to fight for it but it just went enough time for us to get that score we wanted. So uh, despite the loss today who do you think was your best player on the pitch tonight? My best player on the pitch today? Um, um, I'd say our number four Ellis Ward. And why? Um, she was just line speed straight up there great tackles every time. Okay, and my last question for you today. Um, how did you find the atmosphere at Harm Sports Park? It's been oh. great weather. It's been fantastic. Amazing. Like, the weather always makes it, doesn't it? It just puts everyone in a good mood. And, like, Hallam's support was just sensational today. Despite the loss, they kept us going. Thank you very much, Robin. Uh, that's all from us. And back to Hermena now. Thank you very much, Lucas. Um, we're here to discuss how do we think Hallam did in that? How did, how did they go? I thought um, equally really impressive um, defense and um, they really played really well they kept I felt like they had a lot of pressure going because they won last year's match as well yeah and as you said uh, I, I think that Sheffield Hallam didn't manage the game quite as well as the University of Sheffield and yeah. although both of the teams were equally matched the score score line doesn't reflect that <laughs> yeah. and sometimes it is a fair reflection because you always don't win the games by your skills you have to manage the game as well mm -hmm. Sheffield Hallam they had some of really good chances, but they failed to convert them, and as a result, it is reflected on the scoreline. Yeah, I mean, I think the only setback was that they were they weren't as skillful as they were, um, but and they also lost a lot of steam. Like Unioff was quite consistent, but Hallam, I guess, they got really tired towards the end of the game. Yeah, towards the end yeah. of the game, it was Sheffield Hallam chasing the game. They had to yeah. make up. 12 points and as a result they considered a try and yeah. the gap increased to 17 points again. So mm -hmm. you can say Sheffield Hallam ran out of steam towards the last 10 minutes or yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, it was the last 10 minutes that were the crucial yeah. points of the match, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, so overall, do we think that score is quite a fair one? You know, both teams kind of, they played to the level that the score yeah. reflects. They, they certainly, I'm going to say, they said both teams certainly did put in all the effort. Yeah. What did you think? I think that if you take, talk about life, everything is not fair in life, even if the score is not fair because of the strengths of the two teams, yeah. but because of the management of the game, I think University of Sheffield deserved this varsity yeah. point and as a result they have taken home this varsity point. Yeah, that was that was an amazing match. I prob I really enjoyed it. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. It, as we said, it is. it has been such an entertaining match yeah. to see. Um, so that means that the final varsity point at the moment are 7.5 to Uniov yeah. and 4.5 to Hallam. We will be back later with coverage of the Rugby Union men's ones. Um, we're going to take a short break now, but tune in later for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.